What's going on, guys? I want to tell you guys about a new launch we have going on. It's the Arnold Classic Collection. The Arnold T, the Sacrifice T, and the Hostile T are all available for early purchase on the app. So if you download the Hostile app, use code 20BWA. The link will be in description. You get 20% off and be first to get the Arnold Classic Collection. Otherwise, it'll be on the website. You can get it there um, later this week. But there is a sale today until 11.59 p.m. Eastern. And then the 20% runs out. Make sure you get the Arnold Classic tees before they run out. They'll be gone by the end of the week. Get to Hostile.com now and check them out. Thanks, guys. Rice. Fish and rice. You eat fish in the off season? Yeah. What kind? White fish or salmon? White fish. Huh. I can't do it, man. I don't know how you do it. It's not gross. No, because it's like it's like uh like mashed up and then mixed in the rice with sauce, you know. Mm. And there's a, like it's it, there's olive oil on it too. So I'm just eating. It's just easier to digest a little bit. So. Yeah. No. You know what? Honestly, I wish I could eat fish all year round, all the fucking time, because I always feel way better when I eat it. You don't like the taste of it? I hate fish. Like, but like, what if, if you get white fish, do it in I the like, pan, like just break it up. This, like, this tastes like nothing. I just don't like cooking it. it makes my house yeah. stink, and I don't know. It's still, and if you eat too much of it, you stink. That's true. I think that's more because you're correlating it with taking trend when you're like dieting. You're, yeah, in prep, you're using both, so it's like you introduce the fish in the trend, and that's what makes you stink. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then your clothes smell like it from cooking it. Your pores smell like it from the trend. Yeah, I can't do it, man. I can't do it. I wish. I wish I could do it. Um, today's my second podcast. I had <clears throat> Dr. Adam Hotchkiss from Merrick Health on yep. earlier on earlier today. We went over all those injection protocols that we had questions about. Which remember ones? we remember we talked about remember like a month ago maybe or like three weeks ago we had like a conversation about injection protocols and intramuscular injection and sub Q injections and what muscles are the best to inject in sure and like all that shit. I fucking went through all of it with him today. Good. So there's some clear, concise answers with him. Yeah. Basically, you know what he said? The only reason you would do intramuscular injection is for cosmetic reasons. Pretty much is what he was getting. was saying? Yeah. It all gets in there. He's kind of saying. Yeah. Because he was like, he was saying like, if you're doing um, sub Q injections, yeah, there's going to be a little slower release, but once you're saturated, you're saturated. So if it's yeah. like, if it gets in your body, like, you know, five days versus seven or eight days. Sure. It's, it's not really that big a difference because you're already at your saturation point. Yeah. But he was saying it's just cosmetic because you don't want it to look like it's underneath the skin, like if you're getting on stage. Sure. Yeah. But did you know so, that? Uh, I, Yeah. I mean, I suspected that it's all getting in you the same. Um, I, didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't know you would absorb the same amount. I don't know why. I just didn't know if it well, would work yeah, the, the same. Yeah, the only thing... Is it's like, but would it, would it matter then for a compound that is time sensitive? You're trying to get in like in certain times. Would you want to do intramuscular versus that? Like if it's something you know, I didn't ask him that. Maybe I should have had like you on the podcast. Say you want to use say you want to use test suspension before you work out for yeah, a, yeah. your power lifter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would yeah, it yeah. be better to do it intramuscular at that point, or would you want to do it sub Q? Well, ba based on his answers, he was saying like if your saturation point is there, timing doesn't matter. So I would assume. If you're taking a drug where timing matters, then obviously you want to do it intramuscularly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I just don't know if, if even for a compound like that, even if you did it sub-Q, it would still be so quick it wouldn't matter, you know? Yeah, I don't know. But the one thing that made me feel good about it was because he said basically it's the same and it's only cosmetic, I always avoid my shots because I don't want to – I just don't like doing shots. But if I only had to do an insulin needle and I could do it sub-Q, yeah. I could – and that's and that, that was the other thing he said is the more frequent injections are obviously better for you. For yeah. a number of reasons that he explained. Last um, time, last time I did a cruise, I I did it all sub Q. For the first time, I tried it with slim pins. And how did you feel? Fine, exactly. And my yeah. all my blood work, my test was exactly elevated where it should be. You know. Yeah, I. Uh, the one thing he said was your. In the, but yeah, obviously, if you're one, if you're doing an actual cycle, not like a you know a couple hundred like yeah, three yeah, or four yeah. hundred milligrams or low. I don't know where you're finding three mil or two mil insulin syringes, which I guess you could, but I guess that would also be weird to shoot that much volume in, in 
uh, well, sorry. well, that was the other thing too. I mean, people need to, you have to watch the podcast because there was a lot of little caveats, right? Because he was saying like the TRT thing is one thing and the bodybuilder taking like a bulking yeah. cycle is a totally different thing. Cause you're yeah, not going to have a test and 500. Yeah, you're not, you're not going to shoot three mils of oil in your fucking, in your fat, <laughs> in your fat. Right. So, yeah. so, uh, no, no, he was talking when he was talking about sub Q, he was talking more. I almost just related it to me. I was like, look, I'm want to do a hundred or 200 milligrams a week. He's like, well, you're better off doing like 50 milligrams four times a week sub Q with an insulin needle and be done with it. Mm -hmm. He's like, it's such a small amount of oil. You won't even feel it. It'll be like nothing. The only thing that's a pain about doing it is you can't draw any oil-based things into an insulin pin usually. So you're like backloading them. So it's like a, it's like a process, you know? Yeah, but I was going to ask you this. So I usually draw with a 21 inch, a 21 gauge syringe. Sure, same. And then I, and then I change the tip to a 25, right? Same. So wouldn't I just uh, draw with the 21? If you, <laughs> uh, I, this is a bacterial question. If I pop the back off the insulin needle and squirt it into this insulin syringe and then put the back, the back, put the back back on. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you're doing. Yeah. That's backloading it basically. Yeah. Okay. 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 Sorry, Mike. We're talking about, uh, how are you doing? Drugs. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about how to do injections. <laughs> No, I was, uh, anyway, so, so yeah, that's what I was thinking. I would just pop the back off the insulin syringe, put the oil in there and then put the, the back. That's, the what that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 That's what I, yeah, that's what I thought of. That's not, that bad. That's, that's not that bad. Well, I was, I had a, a doctor. It just takes more time. You know? Yeah. I had a doctor on from, uh, Merrick health today oh. and he was talking about doing sub Q injections for mostly for TRT people who are taking like less drugs. Uh, okay. and I, well, because it's, I don't want to do intramuscular injections. I'm like, I, I just don't want to fucking do shots anymore. But I think if I could use an insulin syringe and just get it like, you know, just do a sub Q shot, it would be easy and fast and painless and I'd be done with it. What's the difference? Is there any difference in absorption? Uh, there's a time difference, but he said, if you're, if you're taking it frequently, like if I'm doing 50 milligrams four times a week, he said, it won't matter, right? Your body's going to get into a rhythm. So there's an absorption. The absorption difference is different. Like it's faster, obviously intramuscularly, but if you're taking on a regular basis, you're taking a long acting ester, you're going to end up just, it's all going to be leveled off anyway. Yeah. So are you going to, you don't like, want to use like little half inches, like 25 gauge and backload a 25 gauge. That's kind of the same thing, isn't it? I mean, the, the insulin it's syringe is a little deeper though. Yeah. Yeah. I. But th that was the whole question. That was the whole reason. I mean, we talked about a number of different things like diabetes and blood pressure and all that, but the main reason I want to have him on was asking about injection protocols. And he was saying it doesn't matter. He's like, he literally said that the only reason you would do an intramuscular injection, if it wasn't for timing and absorb, like if you didn't want to get it absorbed faster is mostly for cosmetic reasons. Because if you're getting on stage and you do it sub Q, you're going to end up seeing like the smoothness of the oil. Right. Yeah. But he's like, if you're just doing TRT and you're just doing like really, really small doses, you can just do you can do a sub Q injection. You're still going to get the same result, and it'll be a lot easier for you. So, what do you what do you do? Do you want to talk about that or no? I don't care. I fucking I dread shooting myself. That's just limited <laughs> spots. <laughs> that, but that's why that's why I brought it up though, because I fucking honestly I I'll, I'll I only do like one shot. I only want to do one shot a week. But even that, I'll set it out on the table, and it'll sit there for like three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, end up doing, I end up doing like one shot every fucking three weeks or four weeks yeah so i figured if i can use an insulin syringe i just do it in the morning with my vitamins do it like three four times a week and be done with it would that make it easier for you or you don't care you still hate it regardless i would do i mean i just i just get through it and do it but yeah, like i said it's like the fucking because I found, like, because my right shoulder has so many problems, that, like, I've been having so many issues with it. It's been getting better lately. But, like, so if I pin my right shoulder and there's any type of inflammation or, like, like leftover from that shot in there, yeah, it's just going to set everything on fire. Like, my joint-wise, like, movement-wise. So it's like, why do and you, over the year. Hmm? Why do you shoot there at all? No, that's why I don't. So I'm okay. saying I only have, I only really do my left. And I'll do, like, my left tricep sometimes. I do tricep shots a lot. Tricep shots are my favorite. But, I, think, uh, I yeah. think that's what fucked up my arms. Really? 
Yeah, I, I just have this theory, and I don't know if it's fact or not, but I think doing the tricep shots is what fucked up my triceps. Just like scar tissue build up over time? Yeah, because if you if you look at my triceps now, even like when there's less fat, it just looks – it doesn't look nice. Like yeah, I mean, it's it, would, most... it, it, would, it would make sense that if you shove a foreign object into a muscle long enough, it might change how it looks, you know? Yeah, yeah. Cause some damage in there that, you know. Yeah, there's like certain things I would like. There's only certain things I would shoot in there just because I've tried it and stuff, and certain things that irritate it. So I just like my test, as long as my test is like pharmaceutical, not like underground, I usually probably have, I usually have a good time with that. I never thought of I that. Not... I, I never thought of, I never thought of like specific compounds in certain, certain areas. I just thought if you're going to shoot it, shoot it anywhere. <laughs> but I, remember, no, I used to shoot my quad a lot when I was. Yeah, I did too. When I was like at the height of it, and then I remember like I don't, I don't say his name, but a certain doctor in Toronto, whose name starts with a G, got himself in trouble a long time ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was telling me, he was telling me, he's like, he's like, he's like, would you ever shoot your quad? <laughs> That's how he died. <laughs> you know? He's like, do you ever shoot your quad? And I'm like, yeah. He's like. That's why your hips fucked. I'm like, that's not why my hips fucked. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Like a direct correlation to oil just leaking into my joint, <laughs> rotting <Yeah>. my life. <laughs> no, I shot my legs all the time. Uh, that was always fine. It's for me. sketchy though. I feel like it's really sketchy that shot. That really? shot always freaked. No, I freaked me out. I it was always... like putting something in like hard wood, like and you could hear it like squeak. It like, ah, it's, my, it's by far my least favorite spot. No, that's come awful. on, awful, <laughs> it's awful. How how would you guys do them? Were you just sitting down? Yeah, I'd sit on the toilet. I'd stand and jam it. Well, I uh, sit. I sit and like let that leg go straight, so it's like relaxed. You know? Oh yeah, that's good. That's probably a way better idea. I should have thought of that. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. What's going on, guys? This episode is brought to you by AmericHealth.com, and I want you to go there, use code RBP, and get a blood panel done. Get your blood work done three times a year, if possible. But more importantly, get it done by professionals who know what they're looking at. Now. I recently went to Merrick Health. They did a full panel review. After I was done, I had a half an hour panel with a uh, one of their professionals. He fully explained my blood work all the way through and what was right and what was wrong and how to fix it. Furthermore, they were actually able to get me set up with an appointment with one of their doctors and get me prescribed the medication I need prescribed. You know, the benefit to this is big. I've been judged by a lot of doctors. I've had family doctors who've judged me for what I want to do in my life. And being a bodybuilder, it's always hard to talk to a regular doctor about what we do and what our goals are. But at Merrick Health, there's no judgment. It's completely objective. And they will help you achieve your goals while staying healthy. Get to Merrick Health, use code RBP, save some money, but more importantly, get healthy and get a professional to help you out with what you're doing. <laughs> I just, if I showed you what I just looked up, you'd be, you guys would fucking laugh at me. What's so <laughs> I, I don't even want to say it. Just what are you trying to look right now for? I just typed in quad quad picture. <laughs> and I got a quad picture penis. Of, and I got a quad picture penis. of a fucking four wheeler, like an ATV. Yeah, I was gonna say you're gonna get yeah. maybe, uh, so anyways, I, I typed in quad quadricep just so I can show kind of where I used to do my shots so pe for people watching. So I always do my shot like here in this yeah. spot. Yeah. Right? Sure. Is that where you guys kind I of go meet yeah. approximately one hand length up from my knee, you know? Yeah, I would go yeah. one hand length down from my hip. So you were going from here up. I was going from here down. I mean, it's about the same. It's like just yeah, it's in the same kind of area. So I was about there, but I would do them laying down. You would lay flat. I would lay down. <laughs> like I, would lay down I would lay down. No, no, not like that. <laughs> lay flat on your back, oh, head against the pillow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hang, oh, for the best. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I get it in the right spot. No, assholes. I would lay on my side. I would lay on my side and I could and I would pull my legs forward. That way I could see exactly where exactly where it was going. Sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah, I, thought, I, just, I just sit on the toilet and like let my look at my leg. I didn't like doing it sitting up because for some reason I felt like my leg wouldn't relax properly and it just I don't know, it didn't feel right going in that way. Yeah, well you gotta make sure you're sitting on something low enough. That's why. The toilet's lower than like your bed, you know? because mm, then you can like get so that you're sitting on like say if i'm sitting more on my right butt cheek my left leg is relaxed and like sh uh, straight you know yeah hey what let's the take... weirdest place you ever shot you know what i didn't do too many weird places i think uh the outer head of my bicep was kind of the funkiest spot i used to shoot that yeah, bother. i've done that 
I did my trap one time. Yeah, I was gonna say I know people have done. That. <laughs> I know tried. It. Remember Basil awful. Brown? Remember, remember Basil it's Brown? It's awful. Do you remember Basil Brown? Uh, uh-uh. Mike? No. No. Uh, he was probably a year. I, I think Brown was his last name. His his traps just were like <laughs> straight across, but you could tell yeah. it was it was not <laughs> it was not natural, right? Yes. I think I shot my calves once, like when I was like twenty one or some shit. Yeah, that's and then I realized that was a horrible idea, and I never fucking did. I'm like, this is the most painful thing ever, and I fucking never did it again. Mm-hmm. But I think, never, yeah, that... go ahead, Mike. No, sorry. Um, I was just saying, I've never really done any like foreign, like weird, like arm places, lats, shoulders, legs, ass, like where else? But that you outer, know? that outer head of your bicep is fucked up because it's so. Well, small. Which way are you going? Are you going this way? or Are you going down? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I put it through my arm. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what are you doing? It's not that bad. What's the, what's the problem with that? I'm not fucking stupid. Done that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, man. It's just you know because your bicep is split. Yeah. And obviously, this is like the smallest fucking muscle sure. in your body. Yeah. So I would just go down like that. Yeah. Like I would kind of go on a downward angle. Sure. But yeah. It just, it just felt like it was so small and narrow. I'm like, this is yeah. tricky, fucking. I don't know. But then it would swell, and I was like, yeah, I got a good pump for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it bother you if one, one felt bigger than the other, though? Or would you just shoot both biceps evenly so it would like, kind of stay? No, I always shot, I shot them evenly. Oh, I shot everything twice. What do you mean? Like, I would just go around my body. Half the dose okay, of one, yeah, half the dose of the other. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. I, would just go, I would go in a rotation, so everything always... And, yeah, if yeah. I did, and if I had a whole bunch to shoot, like Mike said, I would do half the dose in one and half the dose in the other. Yeah. You guys know what cabbage head is? What's cabbage? I think I'm getting this wrong. Yeah, no, I've heard Google of it. it. Google it. Cabbage head? Caber jet. It's like it's like a little it's like a needle, like a spring loaded thing. Guys use it who can't get hard ons. It jams their dick, makes it hard. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's called. This thing? Yeah. Caber- oh, yeah. Cab- My guys oh. used to back when I was competing, there was a couple of geniuses I hung around who thought that this was thought it would work in your bicep or your arms. <laughs> Oh, so are you saying like, it's like it's like nolitol kind of like it makes your shit swell? No, no, it's like it makes you get an erection, right? If you can't yeah. get an erection, yeah. I guess I don't know what the nolitol is, but yeah, you don't so. know. You don't know what nolitol is. Uh-huh. So nolitol is what is a drug they used to use for uh, surgery. Uh-huh. So I hope I'm not butchering this, but sir, I guess surgeons used to use nolitol to make the area swell so they could perform surgery. Oh, uh-huh. so bodybuilders started using it in their muscles. To... We're fucking geniuses. We're the best people on earth. <laughs> <laughs> like a really? mad scientist. Let's see. Let's see. I think uh, originally Nolitol was made as a painkiller or some shit, but then it was changed. To... Wait, what is the original one that everybody says like Kevin Lavroni? Essaclean. Essaclean. That's what I'm thinking. Not, not, yeah. not, not Nolitol. Not Nolitol. ESC. Yeah. 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 Uh, ESC. No. ESI, okay. Oh, ESI? Yeah. Uh, Essaclean is an anabolic steroid that provides localized growth at an injected... No, but I want to know the... That's not right, either. The (laughs) medical use. (laughs) No, that was right. It's just not that was... That wasn't the original use. Huh. Here, let's see. Maybe you guys can see it with me. I mean, is it... Essaclean isn't an st- anabolic steroid, though. No, no, it's not a steroid. But it, this oh, is that that. It's an anabolic steroid, but that's oh not no, right. no, 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 it's not. But it does provide localized swelling, not growth. Sure. Uh, body. Oh my God, read. Go up and read that one. The this second one? one down. Read this. It has been used experimentally in the treatment in of growth retardation. It has been <laughs> <noted> to- <laughs> you just saw the word root. I just saw, saw retardation. <laughs> it's like the treatment of retardation. <laughs> Uh, these are all fucking okay. Wait, these are all steroid fucking. I'm looking for like the actual... medical issue. Oh no. Uh, Just type in form below. F O R M B. One second. Ezekiel used in surgery. Let's see if it's true, or am I just talking shit? Just type in the actual name of the the thing, the drug. I don't know the actual name. Yeah, it's it's it said it back there. It's femboral or whatever. Where? Go back. There. For, form of balloons. 
Oh, formable. I don't think that's the right name, man. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> Did I just make that whole story up about surgery? I, I've heard that before, yeah. No, this is, again, it's about retardation. No, I got it. I'll find it. I'm not going to bother looking for it now, but I'll find it. I'm almost positive that's what I read originally it was used for. Anyway, so your buddies were using Caverject. I've never seen that before. What the fuck is that? It's to use on your dick to make your dick swell? Yeah, it gives, it gives you an erection. So yeah. Is this before? Some type of mechanism. Yeah. Is this before fucking Viagra, obviously? No, no. I think it's for dudes who are like literally impotent. Oh, so like Viagra won't even work. So just kind of like fake gets your dick up? Yeah. yeah there, this guy, he's, he's doing it right there. You can see his dick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Boom. He's holding figure he's holding out. Figure his out. Fingers. No, go back. <laughs> Got to figure out. Oh, <laughs> I could never do that. Fuck that. Yeah, no, that. fuck that shit. There's no way. No, there's not. <laughs> no. It would have to be a really, really fucking tiny needle for me to feel even remotely comfortable shoving that near there. It's not tiny, man. Yeah, it's fuck not. that. I couldn't. I couldn't. There's no fucking way. There's no. I couldn't. Well, well, you know what? That's not true. You know what? I guess if you're married and your wife is like, hey. Yeah, I was going to say, if you'd gone through that and your dick's not working, you'd probably do anything, you know? Yeah, you probably <laughs> want to keep your wife kind of happy. So maybe I would fucking just fucking eat it. I have to do it. Fuck it. Got to buy her a Sibian. What's, what's a Sibian? <laughs> Are you teaching me all the new shit? This, you're teaching me you all this new ever, shit. You ever watch Howard Stern back in the day? You don't know what the Sibian is? No. Wait, look that up. I don't know. You smell that. S Y B I A I N. I thought of all people for some reason, who I would know what that is, you know? Why the fuck would I know what this is? Is this it? <laughs> this thing? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like a fucking uh, a saddle. <laughs> yeah, in the saddle. <laughs> yeah, I'm Howard, Howard, Howard Stern used to have girls ride this on his show. Yeah. That's incredible. Like lots yeah. of them. What a fucking. We should get. I, I know, I, should, I better stop. <laughs> Whoa. We should abolish this thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what's this thing about? What the fuck? <laughs> I gotta fucking. You know what? Maybe I'll surprise my wife for her birthday. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you want a Sibian? Wait. What the fuck is that in the living room? Wait, 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 wait. Do you want, do you want a Sibian? Oh, do you have your phone? Oh. It's like a saddle. Just show you... her. Just show her this. <laughs> She's it's a fucking a, mailbox. It's a, it's, it's a saddle that you sit on that's also a dildo vibrator. It's a mailbox with a dildo on it. <laughs> it's a oh, this one's got a handle. Well, can... This one's got a, like a stirrup. Yeah. No, stirrups are things you put your feet in. What do you call that thing? Look at this one. It goes back and forth. It's, it it's like literally like a saddle. It's like a pummel. <laughs> yeah. It's a pummel horse. <laughs> <laughs> This one's got like Look at that one. rib shit, and it goes in your butt too. It looks like one of the monsters out of uh, Pacific Rim. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look at this one. What the fuck? Jesus, got anal beads and the dildo there. That's for the experienced <laughs> user. I had no idea. I'm fascinated by this shit. You, yeah, I just joined. Literally a saddle. Hey, what's up, guys? What's happening? <laughs> We're I don't know, at, guys. We're, we're, looking at, <laughs> we're looking at we're looking at Christmas gifts for you. What did I, I say that? <laughs> what did I walk into? Well, Let's see I you fucking know. joined, and all I see is fucking cocks. Mike's teaching me about besides you these, three idiots. Mike's teaching me about all these new things I had no idea about. I had no <laughs> idea that thing existed. What double dick? The Sibian? No, the, the double Sibian. dicker. The Sibian. Chindo. Get her a Chindo, too. You ever this, seen a Chindo? you never seen this guy? It's a Sibian. It's like a... It's like a I thought like that a, was a fucking shoe polisher. No, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> Shiny shoes. What did you say the other one was? A Shindo? Chindo. What the fuck, Mike? Chin, you know? Like your chin. Oh, Chindo. I don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Where did you get a load of this? Is this like... Oh, you, my like, God, like... Mike. What the <laughs> fuck? This is incredible. <laughs> I gotta get one of these. Holy shit! <laughs> this is awesome. What? So is this like so? While you're eating box, you can yeah, you can double the pleasure. Wow! <laughs> can we see the customer reviews, please? Can yeah, you click that link? Best seller, thirty-five thousand sold. 
four the accommodator. Stars. Four stars. The, name of that. <laughs> the fucking name the, of the it is why I just want. I want to buy it so somebody goes, "What's that?" Oh, that's the accommodator. Mike, oh, right? Mike, I gotta ask how you know about this. Have you? Do you have one of these? No, it's you know what I actually saw it in what movie is that? It's like a, there's a movie. It's like <laughs> Nick and Mary make a porno or whatever. Oh, oh that's yeah, a good movie. Yeah, I've never uh, seen it. One of those like. We, movies, can we, like, wait, wait, can we just can we all hold on, hold on, hold on, Mike? I'm sorry to cut you off. Look at but this guy. Actually, <laughs> scroll, hold on, go back. Hold on, go back and scroll up because the black one is the only one that sold out out of what everyone I saw so far. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only one that sold out out of every one that you fucking went by i don't know would you use that would you guys use that i feel like if i put that on my face the girl could be like no you think go. about it guy would you like honestly i think i would be hysterically laughing the entire time i was using it like but fucking I dying laughing I think it'd be fun. I'm gonna fucking order one. <laughs> I think it'd be fun. <laughs> a chin it, it, it looks like it's like a little pool. <laughs> Seriously, you guys have not answered. Would would any of you guys use that thing? I would try it out. For hold sure. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is makes a difference. Is okay. it a first time hookup or somebody you're dating? Because <laughs> dude, you can't pull you, this out on the walk... first time. Hookup. <laughs> I, 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 know, Mike, I tell you. I, I, it's exactly my point. You come out of the right. river. Hey, yeah. you can't. Do you think you could come out of the gates with that thing? Oh. You think? <laughs> I just got to change for a second. <laughs> if you come out of the, if you come out the first date with that thing and the girl doesn't leave, that's not somebody you marry. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I love those. Yeah, that yeah. is somebody you bang <laughs> multiple times. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, okay, not a first, not a first date. Would do you? Do you? Well, come I met out? with my wife, obviously. That's what I'm saying. So, like, with your wife or with the Starbucks girl or, you know, with your girlfriend, Mike, do you mm. just show up one day and be like, hey, I got this. You want to try it out? Well, you just fucking pitch that fucking heater in. I think <laughs> Melissa Melissa would die laughing. Yeah. Yes, of course. Oh, we we all would. Laughing. All of us would and all of our girls would. But would then curiosity set in? Yeah, give it a whirl. Yeah, give it a whirl. Can't hurt. Okay. But I don't know how easy that would be to, like. The angle might be and, a little. And, fun, yeah. and like, lick at the same time. Like. No, you're trying to. You're like throat. You're like throat fucking. Like, listen, I've done some. I've I've done some dumb shit in bed. I don't think I. I don't even. I think I wouldn't be able to keep a straight face. No, but even if you could mechanically, it would be too hard because you'd be like, it's on your chin. It would so more just be placement. So you're going. <laughs> you're doing this, but you're trying to like. At yeah, the same, it would, or just be, it would just be in there and not moving, you know. <laughs> You'd just be, you'd be stuck with like a double. That's how you have to do it, though. <laughs> you'd be, what, what'd you say, man? <laughs> imagine the view. Imagine the view of the girl looking down at you doing that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know how many guys are gonna rub one out to that now? Damn it, motherfucker! I wonder how many guys are gonna go buy that thing now. And the you know what's gonna happen, fucking. You're, that's going to be one of the highlight reels now. That's just, <laughs> if anyone owns or has used one, the comments, please tell yes, us. Yes, let us know. Yeah, com comment below, you fucking yeah. freak show. If someone know. actually owns one, can we bring them on the show and they can put it on show us? <laughs> I would <laughs> honestly, I would not say no to that. <laughs> next, next bro chat, I'm, I'm going to come or on. Just get them, one, tell just them to send us a picture. We want a picture. If you send a picture, we'll yeah. put it up. Send me a picture. That way we can, we can take a look at it. All right. <laughs> Chindo, Sibian, and the Caverject. Anything else? Mike, Mike, I'm gonna get you a Cardillo belt with Chindo on the back and send it to you. <laughs> Guy, have you ever seen oh, there be a Chindo attached to it? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's how you latch the belt. <laughs> Guy, have you ever seen this? Caverject, I've heard. Yeah. Have you ever used it? No, I've heard people use it in their arms or their fucking like lagging oh, body. Thank you. Around. That's what fucking Mike was saying. I've never heard of that shit. Really? I wonder yeah, if I knew. And I, it's, I used, if... it's used for pornos, I heard. I wonder yeah. if I knew about these things if I would have been uh, Mr. Olympia. Probably, yeah. <laughs> that was the difference maker. <laughs> it kind of just, I, I be, unless I'm mistaken, I believe <laughs> it's not the same as like a Nolotol or a Sintol. I think this adds like blood flow to the area. Correct, Mike? Yeah, just from what I understand, I don't know the whole thing. It's just supposed to increase blood flow yeah, like, massively. Yeah. I remember reading that Essiclean, like Nolotol, 
was used in surgery. That's its original yeah, use. Yeah, to, in, to inflame. Yeah, so the uh, surgeon could work on it. That's a yeah. very small, yes. Okay, because I couldn't find it. I'm like, did I just fucking make that up? But I well, swore I've, I I've heard that No, that's, what, yeah, I, that's, that's what I believe. I just don't know if it's valid. It's just what I've heard in the, you know. No, I remember reading it, but now I can't seem to find it, so it doesn't matter. Um, okay. Guy, what's up? How's your week? I'm exhausted. Why? Because I went from Wales to Florida to I leave tomorrow to go to Ohio. You went to Florida when? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I got home at one thirty. No, I got home at one thirty last night. You know, we did. Me and you talked about this on the phone, and we never really expanded on it because we we're going to save it for the podcast. How do you fucking travel so much? And how do you always end up in the lounge and you're taking showers at the airport and shit? Like, how do you know all these little tricks? I, I, I call. I call. I call this guy. I call this guy. He's just, <laughs> he's just just landed in Wales, and I'm like, what are you doing? I'm, I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, well. I'm waiting for Flex to get here, so I'm taking a shower. I'm like, a fucking shower. <laughs> He's in one of the lounges that it has showers. He's in there with his clothes off, taking a fucking shower. Yeah. Like, no, nobody does Pearson, that. Pearson has the good life in Terminal 1. Yeah. yeah. You get a pump before you get on the plane. You can make yourself stink nice and sweaty before you get Bro, on the plane. Bro, there's nothing worse than, like, I had to wait, like, four. His plane got delayed, so I had to wait, like, almost five hours for him and Allie and the kids to land. So, like... There's nothing worse than like being in that like just all like the same clothes for that long. I got that to piss you off, guy. Just to just add to your collection, right? Loser. Just to make you just, <laughs> to make, just to make you angry. <laughs> when I when I loser. saw it, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, I'm buying this for guy. <laughs> Honestly, I you bring that if you travel with that and watch what happens. <laughs> I'll smash it. All right. Anyway, what? How do you get upgraded all the time? Tell everybody your fucking. Secrets. I travel so much, so you just got points. points. No, it's not even that. Like I hold on. That is right. Flight for tomorrow. Like my flight for tomorrow had me. I wasn't in first class yet, but there was like eight seats available. So I was like, oh, I'll be in fucking first. I've class. never ever flown in first class has empty seats. Yeah, Every pretty. time I fly, first class is full. Yeah. Well, maybe on smaller planes. Yeah. Those are all empty seats. So how do you? So, um, but, but I'm, you I'm right. I'm right here. So, but I'll. So One then you go. To, well, when you when you upgrade, doesn't it charge you though? No, because look, because um, based on your points and your status, it puts you in a standby list. Oh, so see where it so you says go automatically. Yeah. Hold on. See where it says G sis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm number two. There's only six booked, and there's twelve available, which means the next six will get the You're upgrade. Up. So I'm yeah. definitely gonna get upgraded. So. Do you always fly the same airline? Yeah, that's why I've refused to fly anything but United. But the problem is, is that there's the the customer service is so below par. Yeah, it's it's so it's ridiculous. I fly Delta. I always try and fly Delta. Are they so. good? Because I've been like trying. I might switch. I'm that pissed off with with how I got. Well, <laughs> so this might be self incriminating. Actually, no, it's not. Because <laughs> I thought she hung up. So, I make a long story short, I tried to get out of Miami earlier. And they were, I called them to do it. And they said there was no flights available. Meanwhile, I was looking at the flights available on my phone. Mm. So I'm like, and the guy was trying to tell me that, well, maybe his system's behind. I go, so you mean to tell me my iPhone speed internet connection from the hotel is fast is, is faster than yeah. the, the hub of United. I go, come on, man. So then the, I got a supervisor on the phone and then supervisor says he couldn't find the flights either. And then he goes, Oh, wait, Oh, the, the one, the 104 flight. He was like, well, how much does it say it is? And I'm like, what is that? Fuck. I go, what does that matter? I go, it's a yes or a no. Like, do you see the fucking flight or not? I you don't know. You should have said, you tell me how much it is first. Well, I know. I go, I go, it could say $10,000. I go, what does it matter? I go, because, just answer my question. Because if he has so, a cheap, because if he has, he has a cheaper price there, he wants you to say the price. Yeah, so he can yeah, charge you that. So it had a, yeah. yeah. So I was like, absolutely. It's not happening. Yeah. So then he goes, well, whatever it is, you have to pay for it in full because you're changing airlines. So to make a, to make a long story short, I ended up having like five different phone calls and different people. So the last person I talked to, she was a lady. <laughs> she was a lady. <laughs> and I, she sounded like a lady. Sorry. <laughs> and she like made a comment and I heard like a click and I went, did you just hang up on me? And I go, you fucking cunt. I go, and I hope you heard that. And I go to hang up the phone. And as I go to hang up, I go, sir, you're on a recorded line. 
I was like, should be like, I, cut. I, I, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't go through all that. Like, I don't, I don't know. Oh, if I, dude, I don't have so the patience. Ridiculous. You have because the patience then, to then what happened people. while while they were looking for a new flight for me, they did something and unclicked my seat. So then there was no premier seats available. So I ended up having to be in the regular seats in the back of the plane, and it went. I was fucking livid. But what I don't understand is why didn't you just book your own flight? Because you were already looking at it anyway. Because the, I had to get reimbursed for it from Blackstone, and I couldn't just fucking uh, do make that big of a move and assume they were going to pay for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is that why you went down to Florida to do some stuff with Blackstone? There's something called the Ragnarok Games, which is like a big power. It was on pay per view. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They talked to me. They wanted me to. Uh, they yeah, off, so off we had to go there. We, yeah. Blackstone had a booth there, so. Okay, was it good? Busy. Yeah, I mean, it was. It, I it was pretty. It's cool to watch what those guys do, man. It's crazy. Yeah. What is it? Is yeah. it like medieval strongman shit? Yeah, like holding the fucking the the axe out in front of you and like carrying the fucking like the farmers carry with the weight on your back and. Mike, we're gonna um we're gonna have the, the, the TRT Olympics again this year are you gonna are you gonna join what are the events it's most all just, tattoos it's all stuff uh, that, <laughs> it's all stuff well, that only like handicapped retired old people can do so, yeah i mean obviously wait hold on mike <laughs> wait hold on mike was a, a fucking bodyguard for drake like uh, he's I'm, i don't think anything we can do well, to him he might gonna, win like, he him. might win the strength sports but then there's other stuff we can do like what like, shoot a basketball he, can he throw a javelin can you? No. I can throw a javelin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No chance. No I chance. Swear to God, I threw a javelin God. last night. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't do that? I he goes, you want to see the rubber one I practice with in the house? I threw javelin. I threw javelin in high school. Chin javelin. I, guess, <laughs> I threw javelin in high school. Yes, I did. Who had the crazy part? Is. Yeah. <laughs> so did I. No, you didn't. <laughs> javelin, discus, and uh, shot put. Okay, so we can do javelin. We'll do the uh, head to head. Why Mike, not the shot put? Mike, have you ever seen the head to head? Why not the shot put? Because because Mike will win the shot put. How do you know? He got a bad. I wrist. only got I only got my left arm. I can't do. He's shit got with my more. Right, he's got more reach than you. You don't like... shot put with fucking two hands, you knucklehead. <laughs> Throw the fuck and it's the fucking. I know. Ball. I only have this <laughs> yeah. arm. Look at the I don't stance. Have my good arm. He had the stance ready. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> they like Hulk Hogan on the top rope. <laughs> Come at me, bro! I'll fucking smoke you. <laughs> What's the head to head? What the fuck is that? Shot put. <laughs> I got bad shoulders now, bro. <laughs> you know, guys, right? Shot put. Anyone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> javelin head to head. Uh, what else? Head to head, though. Head to head is the football drill where you lay down head to head and then you get up and tackle whoever. Oh, okay. Tackles tackles the other person. Oh, okay. You just uh, one person. Crazy. One person supposed on, to get out. past the other person. Stop, Mike. Stop talking. Mike, stop. What? Stop talking. Stop talking. What? Hold on. Stop talking. What? Stop talking. You just self incriminated yourself. You just self incriminated <laughs> yourself. Oh, I did. How? Because you said it's when the one guy tackles the other guy. Oh, no, I, I said. I said tackle, tackle each other. I said tackle each other. No, 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 no. How did you tackle? How did you tackle me if I brought you down? How? Because I landed on top of you, you douche yeah, knuckle. Yeah, because I, because I, because I pulled you down. No, stop it. Come on, just, just admit you lost. No, I, I didn't take an L. I gotta find. I, it. I'll admit when I take an L, which hasn't happened, but I'll admit it. But there is no, <laughs> there is no metric in which you won that. I pushed you back and I tackled you. I, I fucking like, spun okay, like you. Oklahoma. I like spun Oklahoma you drill. and then yeah, 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 landed yeah. on top of you. Oklahoma. Mike, he came at me and we spun, and then I, I went down on him, and he's like, well, you went back. I go, but I you didn't go down. Went yeah, you went down on me, all right? You fucking down on me. <laughs> <laughs> with the chin down. <laughs> were, you just, were you just wrestling with Paul? I saw that. Wrestling? Oh, yeah, we were fucking around in the ring. Uh does he get super serious when you do that and like really try to slam you? No, if you, you guys didn't hear. No, no, no. You guys didn't hear the audio because I put the the quote over it. But he was like, Fuad, no, no. He's like, one of us is going to get hurt. No. And I kept fucking. You're going to you're gonna let the bear out of the cage, Fuad. going to let the bear out of the no, cage. No, he kept on going like, come on. One of us is going to get hurt. One of us is going to get hurt. So I just, I just tackled him for fun. And then we just, it was just a second. It, was, it wasn't like a, a long thing. But he's so fucking funny, man. He just. <laughs> Uh, where the fuck is that? How far back is that fucking? Ch oh, there, there's. Oh, there it is. Okay, all right. We're gonna let Mike decide. 
Mike, just remember whose shirt you wear. <laughs> you want to watch it again? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I said, yeah. <laughs> Put the music in the back. Of the back. <laughs> <laughs> small in the background. <laughs> I, in, I think in college and football, that would actually be a tie. I think there's a winner. What would you say? I think it would be a tie. I don't think there's a winner on that one, really. Ah, fuck that. I you was. drove him back, but... I will say that I my fucking head went off of his head, and I fucking... I'm like, that had to hurt him. Yeah, that's why they wear a helmet. Because I, I fucking... <laughs> No, I know, but I I didn't care. I was like, "Fuck it, I'm going in," and I just put my fucking head down. That's why they wear a helmet. That was a lot this of fun. This year, just get hockey helmets; they're cheaper. So that that's one of our uh, TRT Olympic events. And then eating, we have to add eating as as well. I'm we fucked. Should, we should add it. Add an eating event. Is it like, is it most, like how much of one, one thing? food? Yeah. yeah. Is it like is it like 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 the wing challenge like that? Like what will you be? I like how you're like, let's take out Sean Book and Mike because Mike might win, but let's add eating. <laughs> Mike can eat. Mike can eat. Yeah, but that's like that's your the thing. point. <laughs> that's not Mike. Mike can fucking eat, man. Yeah, Mike, can... Mike, how is the, is eating a large pizza a big deal to you? No, right? And he nice. doesn't get it. Five minutes. Yeah. Okay. So that's pizza. good. That's good. Then. Yeah. Just, <laughs> guys, fuck. That's all because his appetite sucks. Yeah, I'd be fucked. <laughs> okay, well, hold on. It, let's say how many pieces. <laughs> what 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 kind of pizza do you guys eat? It's like Domino's, no, Papa John's. I... No, there's a like a authentic pizzeria around the corner I order from. So is it like are, are the pizzas like a little bigger? Because like I know authentic pizza. Oh, no I bigger. watched your pizza <laughs> making abilities. They suck. <laughs> who, He's like, to- oh. who tosses a pizza <laughs> like this? Bro, it's not fucking. You got to like spin it with one and catch it with the other. I know that. I worked at a pizzeria for two years. I was watching that shit. I was like, guys, it's fucking hilarious. I've never done it. I know. Let's, go. Let's go. One second. I'm going to show everybody. Can I show your channel? Are you gonna... you're, you're the guy of today's episode. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm exci- am I excited? Bro, Javelin, I worked at a pizzeria. <laughs> oh, so that's what you motherfuckers think What's of me. next, Fuad? Fuck. Wait a second. Okay, I'm joking about the Javelin. I actually did throw it, but not like in an actual contest. I did. Um, <laughs> but I did work at a pizzeria for like two and a half years. I did not. Uh, okay, so this is Quadro's channel. You wanna, oh wait, we need some sound. Uh, let's take a look at guys. You go to a place and make pizza? No, my the guy, uh, the owner, Dave, in here owned and seventeen of these. My full time gig. I've known him for like ten years. Papa John's here. Let's see. All right, you're beating the dough. Beat you. That's Dave right there, Rockman. Okay. I got a new I got a new job. (laughs) Been going through some tough times. Cheap way, that's a cheap way to do it. (laughs) Oh, it flattens it out for you already. You don't even have to roll it out. That's kind of cheating. Well you that's just to get it flat initially. I've never seen that. Wow. That's it. More, uh, more flour on it or not? No, pizza throwing abilities. Come on, Dave. 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 Who knows your shit? Look <laughs> at my hat. My fucking order from Amazon. Tear through it. Put like this. Yes. You want to take your thumb and tear through it? Okay. Hold your thumb. You want to just get tape? Then you swing it. I've never seen that. And roll it. It's effective, though. Like yeah, it's effective for sure. I've never seen that though. All right, guy, let's see what you got. Awful, I'm awful. You can do what I stop. How much of this dope we go through for this? <laughs> All right, so, like this. He lied like slapped it. Stretch it out. Slapped it first. You can start swinging. You gotta start flat hand. Yep, just like that. Yep. Swing though. <laughs> swing your arms. Give me swing. Like. Like this. All right, give me. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. 
Just throwing it at him. Oh! <laughs> All right, if you want to watch the rest of it, go to Quadro's channel and check out. Stop calling me Quadro, you fucking loser. Go to Guy's channel. <laughs> check out his uh, awesome pizza-making skills. All right, Hoss. All right. what? Uh, I'm not – I'm actually – but I'm being honest. When Guy says all this stuff, he's lying. He just likes to one-up people. About what? Like when you say, like, you've done this, this, and that. And I'm, I'm going to call my parents right now and ask if I threw the javelin. <laughs> there you go. There you fucking go. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> believe you. We believe you. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'll fucking do it. I'll fucking do it. I'll fucking do it. Go fucking test me, bro. Guys, the Arnold is in fucking four days, man. Yeah, I'm smoking the shit out of you. So fucking excited. Why? Because of me? No, because it's gonna be an I'd awesome be fucking show, man. You see me? Listen, aside from all the fucking, aside from all the prediction bullshit and all the fucking drama and. I just fucking love watching bodybuilding, and especially when it's like a good, a good fucking lineup. It's going to be great. Even all the way through, like, obviously you can see there's like two groups, right? There's like the one through five, one through six, and then there's a second group. But it's funny because we say there's a second group, but like if Akeem's really good, like the last shot I saw of him, he looked actually pretty dry. Akeem could jump into the fucking top five too. Yeah, so could so, Justin. There's some guys there for sure. So could Justin. So it's like, here, let's take a look at – um. Take a look. I want to show you guys Akeem's last update. It looked pretty crazy. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if all of you saw it. I just will show, I everybody, did. show everybody at home, too. Uh, he posted this side shot. I don't remember like seeing him this dry for a while. It was pretty nutty. Yeah, I don't know. Good texture to his skin. Looks hard. Yeah. I mean... He hasn't really shared too much, so we can't say, you know, he, what kind of. Can but that looks pretty good too, man. I'm excited to see if he can uh, shake things up a little bit. His legs differently, and I, I like it better. He's posing his legs differently here. Yeah, you think so? He's got he's doing like the hip hop. Well, and it's his and and it's his hands too. Remember, he used to do that that fucking wrist thing with his fists. Yeah, with the back lat spread. It looks nice how he's doing it. Yeah. He put his yeah. fucking fist like that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's do final predictions. I don't know if anybody wants to make any changes, but these are final. And I don't think anybody wants to lose any more what's friends. The, what's the win? Like, what's the bet? Well, we have what to do the that. You know, we used to do things like nipple piercings and shaving your beard. We should do shaving your beard. We all have beards again. Come on, no Mike. Mike, <laughs> Mike, what do you look like without a beard? I haven't fucking seen that. Awful. Awful. I, think, I think that should be Mike. The don't <laughs> Mike. Don't be a little pussy. <laughs> I'd rather shave my eyebrows than shave my fucking beard. Oh, okay. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. That's a fucking bull. Oh. Okay, wait, wait. Would you do the deal? Hold on, hold on. Would you do the deal if it was eyebrows, you, beards, me, and Fuad? Wait no, a minute, everybody guy. eyebrows. Wait a everybody minute, guy. Eyebrows. His eyebrows, his eyebrows are already. My eyes like, are like close. they're barely even there. Yeah, well, that's not even a big deal for him. <laughs> no, get your face close to the camera, dude. There's barely, barely any eyebrows there. there. They're like they're clear. Yeah, that's... Mm, they're there. God, he'll just tattoo them big, get back in or something. It doesn't even. Yeah, he would too. He would. I, say, I lost. When you, when you when you had hair when you were younger, was your hair really blonde? When I was like really, really young, man. but as I got older, it was just like kind of like my color, like dark. Yeah, I like your color. All right, when so Mike, Mike, there's no way you're shaving your beard. No, <laughs> I don't no want to shave either. But I get some, I get some pierced before I do the beard. Schmeckle, eyebrow, <laughs> both eyebrows. Prince Albert, Prince both Albert, eyebrows. both, <laughs> both, eye, both eyebrows. You know what Prince Albert is? What am I turning you on to that too? I have um, a friend. I have a friend. That's, that's in the front, right? That's through the hole. I have a friend who has a Prince Albert. Yeah, we got. We all oh, have a friend. Oh we have a common friend. Yeah, I think um, I know someone too, but I won't say their name on here. Yeah, he's French, uh, so he's a little out there. <laughs> um. Okay. No bet. Nothing. Nothing you think what? of, Mike? You guys I'll, are the bet masters. I'll do a piercing. I'm good with that. What piercing are you do you? Well, we can pick a single piercing, and it has to be above the waist. Eyebrow. 
Okay, and if, is oh, it, he said he said it was like dealer's choice type of deal. How about we oh, do no. this? No, how about we do this? Whoever's second or whoever's so who's losing then? Everybody? Yes. No, everybody. No, it was the, no, it was the person that came in last. That's who loses. It's like okay, 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 okay. The worst. The worst. Is, you you can't. That's, listen to your system. It's so. To get the <laughs> fuck out. No, 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 no. It's not happening. No. Okay, how, about no this? How, about, how about the winner gets to pick pick someone? No. Well, you guys can do all the losers. All the losers put their name in a hat and we draw. <laughs> oh, fuck you, guy. <laughs> fuck you, guy. <laughs> the fact. <laughs> <laughs> that you said no, because I already know. I already know. <laughs> to the fans, to the to, to the fans' decision faster than I did. <laughs> it knows what they what what would happen. It, well, it, it wasn't the fans' decision. Ian was saying the, the, the winner decides. Yeah, no, but yeah, the winner right. do it this way. Just do the winner. We put everyone's name in a hat that loses, and the winner picks one. Isn't okay. The that's how about we do this? How do we do this? Hold on, but that's this? not. The names, there's no decision the making there. Wait. No, but you won, so you get the choice, and you don't have to do anything. We'll put the names and we'll put the piercings in two separate things, and you pick one for each. I like it. So it's like the, you can draw determine? like guy and like left nipple. You know, but I'm not Is doing just I'm the, not, the amount of how about you've got in right? and go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, you got it. We got to do all. The, we got to pick the top ten. Well, just and then all, ten piercings. And then we'll do a point system for who got the, the the best score. And the best score gets to pick out of both hats, piercing yeah. and the person. Yeah. And we won't make them ridiculous piercings. We'll make them oh, like so. Everything except your dick. Like we're not doing tongue piercings and shit. Do you want to do, do like that? Your butthole. Oh, you don't, can oh, oh, oh. No, don't put tongue. Let's do like we can do nose, <laughs> eyebrow, like nose, Eye eyebrow, ear, nipples, like that kind of stuff. Okay. Belly button's I, coming I, up for I, sure. I, I, belly button, yeah. Belly, belly button. button for sure. That's okay. Uh, Come on, with, man. If I end up with a belly button piercing, right, I'm really good with that. belly button, and you have to wear a tummy top the whole day after you get it done. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one full to the gym. Yeah. To the gym. <laughs> okay, I'm good with the piercings and the. Uh, yeah, that'd be a fun way to pick up. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Guy, you agree or what? The piercings, you can just take it right out. It's not a big deal. No, no, you got to no, keep see it. That, I see. I was got. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, I don't mean keep. I don't mean immediately. But like, w let's say we make it. It's so got to be two weeks or four four weeks. Usually, sure. just, but after get, that, you can just take it out. Yeah. Well, because if you get something pierced, you usually have to leave it in for four weeks anyway before you can take Guys, it. Out. You got to change something. My one. So not the permanence of a tattoo. <laughs> Hold on, but can, can we take a consideration that I'll be the one that gets uh, piercing, then it gets infected, and then I lose out my nostril. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that in my life. Flesh eating stress. virus, so you're not. Sure. Yeah, I'm good. I don't need stress. I really don't. Piercing's clean, guy. No, so, because I'm gonna tell you why. I got one tattoo, and I've had I've had two surgeries because because of it. What? You'll be fine. Stop whining. Plus, I got I've had two, I've had two yeah, surgeries because my tattoo. Like, you got an equal chance of of not being picked as the rest of us. Just don't worry which about is, it. Which is which? Which is bad luck in its own. It's just whoever gets the most right on the top ten. Is that what we're doing? Yes. No, not placings and stuff. Just like, well, obviously, but whoever just got the most right. Yes. Okay. Like we'll score them, right? We'll score like you get. Well, one no, wait, that doesn't. It, yeah, it can't just be the most names right because there's only twelve guys in the show. The ten no, guys. just the play the most the play the most placings right, and then if there's a tie, maybe yeah. come down to who who gets the right, who gets the, the highest first. placing right. Why don't first. we just do it by points? Like, isn't like uh, first place is like. One point, one point second, place is, second place is two points, and whoever has the least amount of points wins. Yeah, sure. Okay, bad feeling about this. Uh -huh. <laughs> really bad feeling about this. Okay, at least, at least if you lose, you still get to ride the odds of the, the random pick. My wants, anxiety just fucking skyrocketed. Who wants to go first? Not me. I'm gonna change. I am yeah. too. Okay, who, who wants to go first? I'll go first. Okay, go ahead. Nick, Rami, Samson, Andrew, Sean, Bonak. Akeem. Oops. Justin, Kamal, Patrick, Kamal. I'm going to put Patrick not in Wait, last. Wait, where is Justin? There. No, sorry. I'll, I'll switch back Justin. Ah, fuck. I don't know. That's not <laughs> uh, 
No, I'm going to go Justin and Akeem. No, switch it. Oh, yeah, this the way. other way. The other way. Akeem, Patrick, Kamal. Hmm. I feel like Patrick's not going to look too bad. A copycat. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Ian, where did you? Oh, that's a crazy. Like, if you look at that, making that top five is fucking nuts, man. That's like an Olympia level top five. I mean, that is an Olympia top five. Nick Samson, Andrew Ramy, Bonac, Clary, like that's crazy. Fucking stack show. You got Rami for the dub. You're throwing me off because you're putting Clarita for some and Sean for some. No. It's fucking me up. <laughs> okay, this is just tentative, I'm thinking. Okay, go ahead. Who's next? I guess me. Um, switch. Uh... That's good. Those are good guesses. I like I like yours, though. Who? Two ads I like. I don't know why. I I have a hard time seeing Nick lose, but when you read that, it looks like it would be real, you know? Fuck. All right, I'm leaving my... I'm thinking still. Me too. What, what does Rami look like? Apparently, okay, so, he's so just better. so Just so people understand what why I did what I did, because this is, this is a bodybuilding show after all. I think Rami has some structural imperfections but he had them last year as well it's not like all of a sudden it just showed up so i think what happened at the olympia was his posing was fucked up and his peak was fucked up and that's evident by what mike was saying about seeing him doing his cardio fucking the day of the show yeah and and by a lot of things that chad said as well so i think rami's actually going to show up to this show peaked perfectly with his posing back in check and i think if he's peaked perfectly and his posing is back in check i think we get the 21 rami and if 21 Rami shows up, I think that beats Nick. That's why that's why I did that. Yeah, I, I don't necessarily disagree. So. Now, as far as as far as Samson being in third, the part that's throwing me off about Samson is I don't know if he'll be able to beat Nick or Rami from the back. Um and from the, the side shots, especially Rami's known for that side chest. Um and Rami's really, really wide from the front and he's got good structure. So I don't know if Samson will be able to beat Rami and all the front shots. You know, Rami's front lat spread is great. Um, Nick, I I still hold true to what I said before. I think Samson could beat Nick in the front shots, but I think Nick might be able to take him in the both the side shots and the back shots. So that's kind of why I did that. Andrew, I only put him in fourth because it's still a wild card. I don't know why. I, I don't know what kind of condition he's going to show up in and what yeah. all this new training is going to do to his physique. Bonac looked incredible, but might be a little bit more downsized. So I don't know. I could switch Bonac and Andrew. Sean, I don't think is going to be big enough structurally, but he'll be big enough to be, he'll be sharp. So he'll probably beat Akeem. And then you got Akeem, Justin, Patrick, Kamal. I think Kamal is going to be outsized and his body's starting to show a little bit of age. So that's kind of why that's my top 10. Cool. Yeah. Uh, anybody want to go next? I guess I will. Okay. What's going on, guys? Today's podcast is brought to you by Manscaped. And if you go to manscaped.com forward slash RBP, you can get 20% off and free shipping on their new beard kit that I'm going to show you. Check this out. So you get all this cool stuff in the beard kit. And I'm going to show you each piece one by one. First of all, the most important part is you get the beard trimmer itself. Now, the cool thing is you don't get a ton of these attachments like with every other beard trimmer. And you lose half of them. This one, you can set the beard trimmer length with this dial. So you just have the one guard to worry about, which is beautiful because I always lose these. So that's the first thing. Second thing is you get the beard conditioner, you get beard balm, you get a beard brush. Wonderful. Um, and you get, let's see, beard oil. And the last thing is the beard shampoo. So you get all this. I'm going to show you on the website. If you go to the website, manscaped.com forward slash RBP, you can get go to new new beard kit. Click on that. It'll show you exactly what you get. You get the scissors. You get the brush. You get all this stuff in the beard kit for one thirty nine. But you save 
20% plus you get free shipping. So make sure you go to manscaped.com forward slash RBP or use code RBP at checkout to get the discount plus the free shipping. Guys, you won't regret it. This beard trimmer with the dial on here so you don't have all the attachments is absolutely wonderful. Go ahead. All right, so we got... Nick, first. Let's go, Nick. See, I agree. See, I, I agree with the Samson thing with the back, but and I really like Samson, so it's hard for me. Um, I do want to switch Patrick Kamal, definitely. Patrick Kamal down here. Okay. Yeah. It's not Kamal's day today. Well, and just that's honestly, I, I mean, I, I actually agree with everything that, that Fuad said about I'm Kamal. honestly the updates of Patrick I've seen, just I think he's gonna look yeah half decent. So I'm, I, I'm, I, I I agree with that too. Yeah. 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 I think he's gonna be a better version, so I think he can be Kamal. Well, in some of the updates that I've seen of Kamal, it looks like the reason I said yeah. I think age might be taking this toll is his legs look yeah. even even straighter than they have in the past. And it's I don't know I if agree. it's a I don't know if it's a fullness issue. Like who knows, maybe it's gonna look different when he gets to the stage, but uh, yeah, but we have to go off of what we have, right? So yeah, yeah. I love Akeem. I think his or um uh Kamal, I think his body's phenomenal, but so Kamal Patrick, you got Kamal Patrick here for sure. Yeah. Then anything um, you with these. Nick, I'm leaving. Uh, can you just for right now? Can you put Rami above Andrew? See that the back stuff is making me want to move Rami. Nick go or Nick, Rami, Samson. You know what? You go go Nick, Rami, Samson. Uh, Nick, Rami, Samson. Andrew Bonac, Sean. Now I could switch Akeem and Justin. Akeem and Justin. Um do we can you can you show update of Justin? Uh the last couple of photos actually look really good. Yeah. James has Andrew winning. That's interesting. Yeah, he's big. He was when we talked about it, he was really big on Andrew. Who? I mean, I, I get it for sure, but James. Here, let's uh Sorry, one second. Who are we looking at? Justin, right? Uh, Justin, there he is. My only question about Justin is how he's been dying for a long fucking time. But he looks sharp again. Like, he looks like his yeah. body's reinvigorated. Now, this doesn't... This is a tricky thing with Justin, though, for people who are watching. This, yeah. lighting. this can change very quickly with him. For some reason, he always looks like he's a little bit off and then ends up showing up on stage fucking bang on. Yeah. So, yeah. so, I don't know, like, how accurate this is going to be this far because this doesn't look like it's a week out like whatever they're like i don't know this is oh, that's like a good like three week out kind of look yeah but yeah. some but somehow justin always manages to like pull it together he looks, big, he looks big though yeah he looks good his back looks really good legs look good there's another shot there too right is there yeah oh yeah quads look good from the front one of the things that's going to be uh a big thing for justin too is his stomach if whenever yeah. he if he carb loads too much in his stomach, yeah, a little throws his front stomach. double and his front lap right off. Yeah. So he's got to make sure like he gets that carb load right. So his stomach's not distended. Yeah. yeah. I like the beard. Yeah. It looks good on him. I've never seen him with a beard. Uh, here's a side shot. Like this, like I said, like this still looks like it's a couple yeah. weeks out, a few weeks out, but it's hard. It's hard to judge him, man, because he always seventy there too. That's five days ago, so that would have been like two weeks out, a little less than ten mm -hmm. days out. Mm -hmm. I don't. I've learned not to say he's yeah, not going to be. He's it, tricky. He's, you know, if, if this was anybody else, I'd say he's not going to be ready. But it would yeah. be a mistake to say that about Justin. You know. Yeah, that back's really developed. It's fucking great. Yeah, he's got a great back. Top to bottom. I mean, the back lat too. There is just crazy. Bottom left. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, Look at that. It's thick as fuck. That's nuts. Uh, okay, guy, you, you need more time to think, or you have got some? I some... can't see. Might you go back to the screen? <clears throat> should I take? Should I go with the emotional pick or the technically no. sound pick? There's on the line. You got to not base off emotion here. Come on. Your belly button's on the line. 
Yeah. I'll <laughs> I'll stay. You stay here. I'll stay. Nick, Ron, I say, okay. I'm thinking about this. The last shots of uh, Bonac were really impressive to me. I don't know mm. if you guys. I don't know if you guys felt that way, but I want to just show them real quick. And the tricky thing is Andrew's been complete, Andrew's completely a lot to handle, man. Like he looks really sharp. Like it looks yeah. like he's going to be in. But the thing is, I wonder how much if he's going to have his trademark size. But I think he will, because then if you look from the back, it's like he still looks fucking nutty. Yeah, he's dense as fuck from the back. Like, you know, that's like, obviously a place where he can gain ground on Andrew, but anywhere else, Andrew. But the thing, straight. the logical, like this is how when we're talking about logic, this is how I think of it. Andrew placed eighth, Bonac took ninth, and they were both off. Yeah. So, so if they're both if they're both better, you would think that it would still be the same, right? With the, with the same judges, yeah, you would expect so. You would assume they would both just move up, but still be like in the same order. Yeah. So that's. I honestly find the only one that's really hard for me to place is really Clarita. I'm having a tough tough time with Samson. Because I remember, and this is why, and I'm not, I know people are, oh, he's your athlete, blah, blah, blah. This is why I'm having a tough time with Samson. He looked incredible at the Olympia, but the conditioning was the main point of contention. I know people were like, oh, his back's not big enough, his shoulders. But like everybody, judges, everybody was like the condition. Yeah. Well, if he's in better condition, how much does that catapult him? Yeah, that's tough too. I mean, same for Andrew, right? That's the other thing for Andrew as well, because it's like for Andrew. I mean, Andrew's Andrew, just as crazy, you know. Yeah, and then also, it, I mean, they're all kind of tricky because then Rami also didn't hit the mark. So if Rami nails it, then does he fucking win the whole thing, right? Yeah, I mean, he is he is a multiple Olympia winner within recent history, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, Mike, do you want to take a crack at this or what? Mm -hmm. All right. Let me see. Mike, I'm gonna yeah. put uh, Rami in second. Rami in second. Uh, Samson third. Samson third. Clarita. Who did I just jump out of that fucking mix there? Who is the... That Rami's gone. I want Akeem in that spot. Akeem. Don't forget you. And Andrew, Andrew. Andrew below him. Andrew. <laughs> Bonac, Patrick, Kamal, Justin. Yep. Yep. You're leaving those the same? Yep. <laughs> Just to see, I, I don't like our bet. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because I we, don't, should, I don't we should because we should punish the worst picks. Yeah, whoever got the least right. We should punish the worst picks, not pull, pull, pick out of a hat. Because if if I got Let's say, Ian, you win, and I'm one fucking placing away. And Guy or Mike are, like, way off, but I get picked. Yeah, well, then let's do, let's do the bottom three go into a hat together. No, it's the same thing. Wait, what? You just said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're like, wait a minute, let's do it this way. It's the exact same. <laughs> well, no, because we have, like, ten guys. What? What, what do you mean? Like, of, of us that are on the bet. Oh no, the other guys aren't betting because we didn't put anything up on it when these. They oh, so it's it. just us. It's just the four. It's oh, us four. I didn't know <laughs> Paul. that. Paul's in too, no? No. <laughs> what Mike, the fuck? Mike, oh. Mike just wants to see Paul get another piercing. <laughs> you got to get everybody in on it. No, they didn't. Oh, yeah, like, when we first talked about it, he was on that episode. Look, he was original. He made his pick originally. They yeah, all you can't you listen. Can't. They've all they've all put their like shit in, but these guys didn't know about the bet. So I don't. I can't. Well, text them all and say we're making fucking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be like text them, but guess what? You're getting the fucking belly button piercing. <laughs> you have the worst picks. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't follow through, you're off bro chat. You fucking. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying. Bottom three, like out of the ten of us, yeah. one guy will win, and then we take the three that are like really fucking bad, and then those can do it a hat. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I think we should just do what, worst picks. What's I think the it, debate? I think it should be us four and the fucking loser gets fucked. Sure. I <laughs> think no, because those odds suck. You just don't want to do anything wrong. You don't want to do any shit, guy. I still got to shave I, my beard. 
I lost a bet to Patrick during the Olympia. I got to shave my beard after the Arnold. I'll shave shaving my beard. I would do. That's it. Like I would be like, okay. Yeah, but no, no, we're not gonna do. We're gonna do something good. All right. But no, no. Loser, loser gets their uh, something pierced. Yeah. We'll draw. We'll draw that out of a hat. We'll put all the piercing things in sure. the in it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> no, fuck it. I think it should just be belly. Sure. What? Ian thinks, oh. Ian thinks he's gonna win. He's like, I don't care. I got the best pick. No, I just don't care. I don't care to get the piercing either way. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> okay. Belly button piercing for the loser. Deal? Yeah. Everybody? Guy? I want Paul in on it though. I want Paul in on it. Okay. okay, let me call Paul right now. It's like Do we at least try to recruit more people? We're getting Paul. <laughs> One second. Like, what about Justin? One second. Get that fucking tool bag in on it. Hello, hey, Paul, so what are you doing? I'm trying to open the gym. Uh, you're on the podcast. You did not have a No, shoulder. you fucking pussy. You didn't have a great shoulder workout. I wasn't there with you. <laughs> My shoulders are so pumped right now. It's probably one of the best pumps I've ever had. It's probably the best workout I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Never felt training like this in my you life. For, for sure, I had a shit workout. <laughs> I had a great workout. I can barely lift my hands. He doesn't need you ever again, Dwayne. <laughs> okay. Um, you're on the podcast, asshole. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Uh, <laughs> We're betting, uh, we're, we're placing bets, and the loser of the Arnold picks has to get something above their waist uh, pierced, pro- probably their belly button. <laughs> don't I get a little bit of like, credit here? Don't I, uh, get a, I, I get a buy on this one, maybe? Why do you get a buy? Yeah, I got my, my nipple pierced already. You lost it's the bet. <laughs> yeah. It's a bet, you asshole. Why would you not have to do anything? We're, you're making another bet. Okay. Okay. Paul, that took a lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, Paul, Come on, you're, uh, you're a judge. Mike, you should be winning these. Mike said that he wouldn't be in if you if you didn't agree to do the bet with us. Oh really? Yeah, Mike. Okay. Said, Mike said he's only in if you. Do it. <laughs> yeah, don't you feel special now? Okay. All right. <laughs> oh really? Okay, Paul's in. It's the five of us. Okay. There you go. Oh, that that was a real leg bender. You're gonna have to get your belly button done. That's the bet. <laughs> So it's anything above the whip. So I get my ear pierced. No, no, no. It's the belly button. We decided. So everyone's got to get the belly button pierced. Yeah. <laughs> Loser gets their belly button pierced. Yes. Okay. What are we betting here? I want to be careful what we're betting first. You're betting on your top 10 picks at the Arnold. Oh, well, do I get a chance to review mine one last time? Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm going to read them. Sorry. Pictures. That's it. Talk to you later, Paul. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no, your, your picks are in. See ya. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> one last time. Okay, so Sam, you got Samson in first. Yep. Nick in second. Let me just share with the guys so they know what we're talking about. You got Samson in first, Nick in second, Rami in third, Clarita fourth, Andrew fifth, Bonak sixth, Akeem seventh, Justin eighth, Kamal ninth, Patrick tenth. Exactly. Yeah, that's what you got. Yep, that's what I want. You're going to keep it. A man of conviction. I'm, I'm not wavering this time. You guys are talking about my picks. <laughs> Remember, we talked you out of. Uh, <laughs> we talked. We talked you out of. Um, or, uh, sorry, hottie, hottie. We, Yeah, we talked you out of hottie winning, <laughs> and, then he, and then he won. <laughs> Wait, he put hottie winning in his predictions. <laughs> yeah, Paul had hottie winning from the very start of our predictions for the wow. game. And in the, like near the end, we started fucking with him so much he changed his picks. <laughs> oh my god! I think it was the last week. I think it was the very last week. <laughs> But yeah, he had hottie winning like the whole fucking time. Well, he is the judge for a reason, I guess. Eh? No, this time yeah. no, I'm good. Okay, Paul. Okay, I'll talk to you. See you, brother. Hey, Paul. Bye. Bye. Hey, Paul. All right, Paul's in. If Paul, has, if Paul has to get his fucking belly button pierced, I'm gonna fucking die laughing. Did he take his? <laughs> did he take his nipple piercing out? Yeah, he waited the month. Like, he, I guess you have to wait a month, or it doesn't like heal properly. Yeah. Yeah. He waited the month and he fucking ripped that fucker out as soon as he could. He was so yeah. fucking. He was so angry about having it. <laughs> he kept he kept catching it on stuff. He's like, man, it's I just picture your ball like there at night with his Q tip and his cleaning solution, cleaning his nipple. You know, <laughs> I think I would have a fucking like band aid on it at all times. So Paul's going with Samson winning. He's gonna, you know what? He could be right. He could be right. Man, it's it's hard. This is a hard one. Fuck, man. I want to I want to go with Paul on this one. 
Nick right. looks crazy depleted in this recent picture. Who does? Nick. Yeah, he does. Oh, wait. Paul, crazy, Paul's, crazy depleted. Oh, Paul's calling back. I think he's got to change. <laughs> Hello? Got a bet if he changes? That's one of the terms. How long? Four weeks. <laughs> Four weeks. 30 days, basically. 30 days with a belly button piercing, yes. And you have to do, and you have to do, and you have to do one video for social media. Oh God! <laughs> with with Is with the, counting on your video, your video has to be shirtless with a chindo. Your <laughs> the chindo. You, you you there's no terms for the video, but you have to the the piercing has to be completely visible. Going the whole time. You have, yeah. to, you have to get your belly button pierced while riding a Sibian. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. Ask him if he knows what the Sibian is. Paul, do you know what a Sibian is? A Sibian? A Sibian. S I B. <laughs> yes, I do. You do? Yes, I do. How do you know what that is? Do you have one? Uh, I, you know, no, I don't have one, but uh, I'm aware of what they are. What is it? <laughs> I know, I what is before. it? How are you aware? Oh, you've seen it in a movie before. Yeah. What movie? What is it? What kind of movie? <laughs> What's it? <laughs> What's a Sibian? Tell us. Tell us. Describe what a Sibian is. It's in Seattle. <laughs> a female device that um, simulates uh, uh, genitalia. Huh? Okay. <laughs> oh, you're the best. Paul. You know what a Do you know what a chindo is? A chindo? Yeah. No, I don't know what that Paul, is. Paul, you got to see this thing, man. I'm going to show you. You're going you're gonna, you're gonna to try it out for sure. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> Send I'll, I'll send you a picture. You delete it so your wife doesn't see it. <laughs> yeah, if your wife sees it, she's going to divorce you, bro. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll talk to you later. Send me the picture. Bye. Bye. <laughs> He's the fucking best. All right. Um, uh, let's do some questions. Okay. Hundred and something questions. Have you ever felt that you lost your passion for training? Anybody? Ian, have you yeah. ever lost your passion for training? Sure. But not long enough to actually stop. Uh or not enough to actually No, stop. Ne never to never to even miss a day, but like it's it's just like routine at this point. So it's like, you know. Yeah, but that's good for people to hear because people always used to ask me, like, oh, how do you stay motivated? And I'm like, sometimes I'm not fucking motivated. Sometimes uh, yeah. Just Sometimes like I, don't I even just, want to I go. Just do, I just do it anyways, you know. Mike? I I love training. I don't know. I love it. Yeah, but guy, you don't ever have days where you're like, ah, I don't feel like going. Yeah, but and then I go and I'm like, I'm fucking glad I went, man. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get that too. But some you, people just wouldn't go. Yeah. Yeah, that's not me. Like I've always, I'm that's the same way. Me. Like I always go and then after the first exercise, I'm like, oh, I'm glad I came. I feel great. <laughs> yeah. Um, I always push myself too because I know I'll always I'll always be happier that I did than if I didn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, but there always. are days. But there are days you'll never finish the workout. And be like, oh, I wish I didn't do that. Like never. <laughs> yeah, but there are, there are days I'm excited to go and days I'm not excited to go. So I think that's kind of what they're talking. Have you ever lost your yes. passion for training? And I'm like, yeah, there's sometimes sure. it's, sometimes it's been like a week or two at a time. Oh, um, I've had longer than that. But that sometimes that's also overtraining, though. No, it could be. That's definitely it, it could potentially, but doesn't it's not necessarily, but it could be. Yeah, I'm not saying so it's you guys sure the reason. you guys have like scheduled time off throughout the year where you're like, I'm taking a week off, I'm taking two weeks off. No. Oh, the so. longest I've ever the longest I ever took off when I was bodybuilding was there would be some shows where I might take a week off afterwards, possibly two, but it wasn't even really off. I would just go into the gym and do like seventy five percent training instead of like I'm all of it. Yeah. Mr. Van Wick, would you? you no, know, the only the only thing that unmotivates me for training is like because of injuries and stuff or shit yeah, hurts. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? That's for sure. It yeah. fucking drains you. It's like fuck, man. Like, <laughs> but not being able to do what you like, you guys had been not through that too. But it's like not being able to do what you just even the basics of training. Not talking about like balls to the wall. Like it yeah. fucking demotivating as shit, right? Yeah, that's the that's been the toughest part, Mike. For me, is like trying to find ways around pain yeah. so I can, so I can still enjoy my training. Yeah. It's a everyday battle. <laughs> yeah. But if you go, but Mike, if you go light, like I found, and sometimes it's embarrassingly light, but have you found that if you just train light, but in, just crank the intensity way up, do you get through your pain or is it just the movement itself bother you? No, but I mean, it's, it's like, 
it's like a double-edged sword. It's like, I have to do all this stuff to like discover ways to move pain free sometimes, especially when it's like my hip or like my shoulder causes me issues. But in doing that, it, it almost helps you find like maybe methods or angles or movements that you never would have thought of before. That also like, re, like you can parlay that to other people as well. Right. Cause they, like, even if they have a fully functioning, perfectly good shoulder, it's like, try this, like, like partial range of motion. All right. Try this angle, whatever. Right. Cause you're limited in your ability, but that person might benefit from it well as well. Right. So I kind of yeah. look at it that way for me, because I'm training so many people every day. It's like, if I, if this feels good to me and I'm this fucked up, it's got to feel good to that person who's yeah. completely normal, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Look at that. Let's just talk about that right there. Chef de Cuisine. Is that uh, Snow Peas? What is that? Sugar Snaps? Those are, uh, no, what's the other one? The skinny one. Um, <laughs> sugar Snaps, isn't it? No, Sugar Snaps are the big fat ones. Snow Peas? Is it Snow Peas? No. No, I Snow Peas, yeah. It's snow peas. Yeah. So it's snow peas. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> I said you're right. I don't understand. Well, I fucking said I was wrong first. All right. Uh, you said sugar snap peas. Have you ever gotten a fight with a neighbor? Yes. Like fist okay. fight or yelling fist fight? fight? Uh, both. <laughs> both. Both. <laughs> I got in a yelling. <laughs> I got in a yelling fight with a neighbor. I've never been in a fist fight with a neighbor. Over yeah. what? Me? Well, Either one of you. I I don't like when my dog shits in the backyard. I don't pick it up. Like exactly. This is recently. Shits. No, no. This is like when I lived in Toronto, probably five, six, seven years ago. Oh, you're my your dog now. I don't. So I don't. Uh, I don't pick it up right away. Sometimes it's like I'll just go out every three days or something. I'll clean it all up, kind of thing. You're and going the, every day. Neighbor you comes that? over. I don't know. The neighbor came over and he's like, Hey, we got mice. And I'm like, yeah, we don't. He's like, <laughs> he's like, well, mice eat dog shit and you're not cleaning up your dog shit every day. And I think that's why we have mice. I'm like, you have two little kids. I'm like, how do you know it's not from the fucking grubby fingers and shit? Yeah. And he's like, or they're eating downstairs and leaving crumbs. Well, and you don't have mice. You don't yeah, have I'm mice. Like, I'm like, we don't have mice and the fucking shits in our backyard. So yeah. I got in a fucking yelling match with this guy. I'm like, get the fuck out, of, get the fuck out of here! I think fucking clean him. <laughs> like my dog's fine, and in my backyard. And then what was fine. the relationship like after that? He never looked my way, and I never looked his way. I just fucking, I kept. I actually waited longer to clean up the dog shit after that. Good. I would leave it like six days, just pile up. And the, I don't know if you know houses. Well, you know houses in Toronto. The backyard's like a ten by ten fucking square. Yeah. So it's just like shit all over the back. We have that. I have, I have poop squad. Yeah, you got the fucking poop cleaners. Yeah. See, guy, fucking Ian's Ian's lazier than I am. They come, <laughs> once, they come once a week and just clean up your shit. Yeah, that's insane to me. What a business. Yeah, hey, what a it's business. Nice that like went to high school right here. And started. Mike, could you do that? Do you like you live in an apartment? Do you or a townhouse? No, I have a house. Yeah. Oh, you have a house. So yeah. do you do you cut your own grass? Nope. See, guy. I cut my own grass. Do you do you have poop squad? No, no. So you pick up your own <laughs> shit, and you cut your no, own grass. No, a lot of the, but neither uh, of you my, do both. No, I have like a four-story house, so like the yeah, the ground level, which is like the you could say there's a level below it that's unfinished, but the ground level, my mother lives with us, so okay, she kind of lets the dogs out, and that's her whole her whole scene down there. So she kind of takes she care pick of up, that. Does she pick up the dog shit? Yeah, she's got a little grabber thing. You make but she's got a dog thing. as well. You make your mom pick up the dog shit, dude. He's got a dog as well. She's always out there. That might be actually worse. <laughs> yeah, gonna say that. Instead of paying a company, my dog, your mom, my dog, my instead of paying good. a company, your mom's actually, you're not even paying your mother. She's doing it for free. That's like, she's like an indentured <laughs> servant. <laughs> There's a park right across the street from, like out this window, right across the street from my house. And my dogs go there. Just, we just leave that shit. Every neighbor hates what about you get, think about Get back to that discussion. <laughs> Did you Wait leave your food at the top of the stairs and knock? <laughs> Wait a minute. We we're two for two here, guy. I'm I'm feeling pretty good about myself. What about Instacart? Do either of you use Instacart? Sure. Ian does. Mike, you don't. I love going to the grocery store. You love going in to the Canada, grocery store. In Canada, we don't use it. In the states, we used it like every day. Wait, why I do you love? love going, I love. Why do you love, why do you love going to the grocery store? I just. I love food, so I just walk around and buy all kinds of shit. You buy all the crappy food. That's why it's fun. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's great. I used to love going to the grocery store, but 
I think I did so much when I was dieting. Like, I just don't want to fucking go there anymore, man. <laughs> not, not when I was dieting, when I was bodybuilding. I just go there. I was there every fucking like three times a week. I was there. So I was like, yeah. fuck. What do I'm you like, really do? What do you mean? What do I do? I, I fucking run. <laughs> I run a fucking business. What do you mean? What do I do? What's it? <laughs> I run, I, listen, I'll fucking shop put you. Fucking don't start. <laughs> What do you mean? What do I do? What do you fucking do? Every day I call you, like, I'm so busy today. I'm like, what are you doing? Do you like, I'm Bro, in the past 10 days, I've been to Wales, fucking Florida, and now I'm going to Ohio. I don't yeah, say you don't have to. You don't have to go to those places. You just go because you got well, nothing going on. That's why you go to all these places. You act, oh. like, that, you act like that's work. What? Well, you, well, like, <laughs> you act like that's work. It's because you're not doing anything you can afford to go. I can't go. Do I afford to go because I have money trees fucking planted on my yard? I don't mean afford financially. I mean, like, you can afford to go because you have the time. Not true. I lose money when I'm not here. You're the busiest, not busy person I know. False. <laughs> not false. We asked you to tell us about your day one day. You're like, we're like, what do you do? You're like, oh, I have to go to the bank. Like, you're the only guy that still, like, actually goes to the bank instead of, like, just online banking. <laughs> I don't trust the computer to do it. <laughs> what? You don't go to the bank, Mike? No. No. <laughs> All right. See, you're like... I don't understand to not clean up your poop thing. Do you walk... Wait, Ian, when you let your dogs out, do you walk outside with them? No, I have a big fence in the backyard. Hmm. I just literally go out my... my they go to my back door when they need to go out. Okay, but don't I your door... door I let them go out into the big fence yard. When they want to come in, they come back to the door and sit at the door. You know? Okay, do you play with them on that yard? Uh, no, we have parks near here that if we were going okay. to that Okay, okay. Go on. You? Yeah, take them to the park every day when it's nice out. See, yeah. maybe that's why. I I don't have to take my dogs to the park. I play with them on my yard. What does that have to do with anything? Because he doesn't want to play <laughs> I, if they, I, if, Bro, the chance of them running through their shit when I'm playing with them and then have to clean their fucking shit paws off is, is a high percentage. Do you know there's like a really, for some reason, dogs know where the shit is. My dog never steps in his own shit. I think I think guy would be. Well, I have two and a half acres. It doesn't work like that. That would be even better for you. What do you mean? It's worse. It's better. You have more land. It's shit's more spread out. No, because if they go out the sliding glass door, they shit in this area. If they go out the front door, they shit in this area. If they're out there playing, they shit in that area. Well, then you know. Just I just always I walk outside. I keep poop bags on me. They shit. I pick it up. I tie. I throw it in the bucket. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's because you're going outside with your dogs. What does that know? have to do with you being busy? <laughs> Like, Fu, and you just let your dog out in the backyard, right? Just open the door and let him out? Yeah. Yeah. And then he's done. And he comes back in. Yeah, yeah but you don't play with him on your yard, right? No, I have a small backyard, so I don't, I don't like, play with I'm him. I'm saying if you did play with him on the yard, would you pick up the poop then? Yes. You're right. About That's that. my point. But I'm not talking about that. I'm saying, I don't, why are you still talking about picking up dog shit for him? <laughs> you guys also, I have three tiny dogs, you know? Like, my dogs aren't dropping shits like your dog's dropping, guy, you know? Yeah, my yeah, dogs but... are 100-pound dogs. Yeah, all three of my dogs combined don't weigh 100 pounds. <laughs> yeah, but they're, drop dropping, but they're dropping more shits. Well, what? they're dropping the same frequency. They're just three of them. Yeah, so... so my more... three are probably doing the same amount of shit as one of his dogs, you know? Yeah, How much your dog? How many times it's a... scattered more. There's more area. It's covering more area. How many times a day your dogs poop? Twice, maybe three. The dumbest Nine or three. Session. Morning, noon, and night, usually. Yeah. <laughs> Can we move on from this? I honestly don't really know because we just let them out and they just shit or whatever, you know? <laughs> they you can be watch... out there 75 times a day. I don't know. Yeah, but you don't watch them when they're out to make sure they're like, okay? What, doing what? My, my fenced-in backyard? <laughs> like, what kind of fucking, fucking dog owner are you, fucking man? fucking <laughs> falcon come down and rip up their fucking heads off? I live in fucking Canada, bro. <laughs> Eastern Canada. No birds out there? Not not here big enough to pick up a dog. Well, you never know. Not why. <laughs> are you are you, you just let that? your dog out go look at it, right, Fuad? Yeah. Yeah. Well, unless it's in the middle of the night, because I'm worried about skunks. Okay, sure. So I'll watch them just because if we get sprayed again, I'm gonna fucking worry about skunks because you already got sprayed. Yeah, and yeah I, don't fucking, I don't want to deal with it again. Okay, can we move on from the dogs, please? <laughs> Are you done, guy? <laughs> All right. Uh, Maybe not. Let me... <laughs> okay. Uh, what is your average prep time? How many weeks? 16. Okay. Uh, 10, 12. 
Would you rather have to do the Masters Olympia or just eat suspicious? No, Jesus Christ! Why did I, why did I read that? <laughs> now I want to know what it was. Just that one off. What was that? Your favorite cycle you've ever taken? Test, just to that? Test EQ Trent. Love it. Great. Free contest? No, off season. Tons of food. Lots of trend. I wouldn't even know. Don't do it. It's not healthy. Yeah, don't do trend in the off season. Don't guys. do trend in the off season. Am Just take one? NDP and a ton of Anadrol instead. Okay, I'll, nobody else is going to answer. <laughs> <I'll pass. laughs> uh, no, if you've been on drugs too long to remember that. Best. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Maybe I'm like not in tune enough, but like if I like took like Primo versus Mastron or EQ versus NDP, I'm not like. Ooh, that one's my favorite, you know? Like, <laughs> well, I can tell the difference between when I take no, but you're right. Some things I can't tell the difference. Like if I take if I take Primo or Mastron, I can feel a difference in and I don't even know if this means I'm taking good Primo or not, because I know it shouldn't be, but I always get more swollen on Primo. I get more like water retentive. Please. Um I know you shouldn't. So that's tricky, right? Um, but if I take EQ or DECA, I get my anxiety goes through the roof on DECA. So I don't use okay. DECA. Really? So things yeah. like that. I've heard about that with EQ, yeah. Yeah. So uh that's why I always pick EQ over DECA. So there's some things you can feel the difference. I'm just but... I'm just riled up to ten on the anxiety scale scale all the time. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ian. How do you the feel? DECA about... anxiety is way better. <laughs> what? The DECA you... anxiety is way better than the trend anxiety. <laughs> The trend anxiety. Well, trend trend anxiety comes with anxiety and anger. Deca anxiety is like, for me, it's like a depressive fucking. Yeah, anxiety. I'd rather feel angry at the world than like anxious. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about Rami being constipated? Is the reason they lost at the O? I know that's an issue, <laughs> but don't know. But don't they know about fiber? Well. For one, taking more fiber doesn't necessarily help you shit better. If you take more no. fiber, it can actually do the opposite. Yeah, exactly. So fiber is up. not the answer. If you're not shitting, don't just keep adding fiber. That is probably the worst thing to do. Thank you That's for saying that. Because you know what? That's the one of the biggest myths out there. People don't realize that you can, over, you can take too much fiber and then you're backed up. Like for if, you're, if you are not shitting because you've been having no fiber and then you slam yourself with like 40, 50 grams of fiber in a day or yeah. something, you're probably not going to shit. You're just yeah. going to be bound the fuck up, you know? But I mean, be better be... getting like a magnesium supplement or like something like that, you know. But actually, let's just ask that question: If he was constipated and he was feeling bloated, it could be part of the reason. I mean, if he's if it, it, it could be absolutely yeah. sure. Could go get a fucking colonic and solve that. Go get a fucking go get an enema from CVS and fucking yeah. see. I see, see, sometimes those out. don't work, Mike, and then that even causes a bigger problem. Yeah, it depends. But your best bet is always to go mechanical before you go like take something because at least that is just doing what you want it's not something like in your system so it's a safe first bet for sure yeah mike i'm gonna ask you this question first what is the biggest life mistake you've ever made wow <laughs> <laughs> you, get the, you get these ones because you're the newest on the podcast so we don't know as much about your life biggest life mistakes guy or nick if you can think of or guy or ian if you can think of one jump in just call me Nick, motherfucker. I called you Nick. Yeah, <laughs> should be. God damn it. Be, uh, I thought you were as big as Nick. Yeah. Oh, uh, to get a divorce. It's hard. The biggest mistake you ever made was getting a divorce. Oh, mistake. Oh, a mistake. That's not oh. your, your Starbucks girlfriend's <laughs> not going to want to hear that. So you want your wife back? That's not what I. <laughs> It's not what I thought the question was. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we edit that part out? Yeah. <laughs> so what, uh, what is it? What is the biggest life mistake. mistake you've ever made? That's such a hard question. Life it's a deep question. It's hard to like narrow it down to like an overall choice too. Like in yeah. different areas of your life, you've probably made mistakes, but overall, fuck. Okay, you guys think about it. I really got to go piss. Life mistake. <laughs> Being on this fucking <laughs> podcast. Wasted two hours of my fucking life <laughs> after he's gone. Yeah. What do you I'm think he's gonna know. say when he watches this to edit it? I'm not gonna <laughs> fucking. He's gonna like, fuck these guys and cut it all out. Yeah. I don't I even, even know. Mean. That's such a that's like a deep ass question, man. Yeah, like what the fuck? The ho hardest. No, the biggest mistake you've made in your life. You think? 
See, I thought it was the hardest decision. I said, I, I said, get divorced. Like, that's You're making up questions, man. Like, it's just, <laughs> yeah, I was fucking, I don't know what I was listening to. <laughs> I was like, that was hard to tell somebody. It's hard to be like, yeah, I want a divorce. It's not easy to say. Like you imagine. Um, but so the biggest life mistake. Regret or mistake, I guess, yeah. I think this word is so dumb. It should be biggest regret. Yeah, but you can say that. Sure. Answer right? it that way. Oh, I got, I, I, I got, I, I got mine. Let's hear it. Go ahead. Well, I just want to wait for fucking that turd burglar to come back. Fuck it. <laughs> we're, we're, we're running the show without him. Go for it. Yeah. So, <laughs> oddly enough, Rodin and John both text me, and I didn't respond to either one of them, and they both passed away oh. right after I didn't respond. That was like the last time, yeah. Yep. Well, multiple. I can do that for sure. Sean texts me. And I texted him. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I texted him back. I said, I'll, I think I might still have it. But I texted Sean. It was on a Thursday. I said, I'll call you right back. He died on a Saturday. And I, I never called him. That was that. And then Meadows texted me, um, kill it this weekend at the show in the uh, Bahamas. I didn't respond to that. Yeah. So, because, yeah. So, that sucks. I have an answer, but I don't know if I should say it on the podcast. <laughs> you probably got it better. <laughs> For for legal reasons, I don't know if I should say it on the podcast. You know, oh, yeah. you say, talk, on, talking about you say it now because then because then hope you know he'll watch it. <laughs> hypothetically, <laughs> if I did, if yeah. someone did this, they would really. What's, what's yours, Brad? <laughs> what did I miss? We talked about our biggest regrets. And well, it's your turn. Yeah, but who's I? What was what did you guys say? I guess I don't. Even I said his was not that the last time that Roden and Meadows texted him, he didn't answer them right away. Oh, that sucks. Uh, my biggest regret is not spending more time with my mother. Yeah, it's a good. One. Yeah, yeah, it would have to be. Do you think anybody would say that though? Wait a minute. No. This is okay. Fine. If we leave out, if we leave out, if we leave out like uh, people who've passed. Okay. Just, okay. Biggest mistake is different than biggest regret. Biggest mistake, I would say. Okay, so that's how we're. Okay, so is it? So that's what we're. So that's how. Because I said I go. Dude, does he mean biggest regret? And then Ian goes, Yeah, answer it that way. No, because big biggest regret is different than biggest mistake. So biggest mistake. Sure. Might have been not finishing university. Potentially, might have been the biggest do you, mistake. Do you regret it? I don't regret it, but and it's not really a mistake. So is I it guess. really a mistake? Oh well, yeah, why is it a mistake if you don't regret it? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, you could still make a mistake that you don't regret. Yeah, but then why would it be your biggest mistake? <laughs> because maybe your life would have been better <laughs> had, you, had you done it. Maybe yeah. this motherfucker knew that he was going to do this to us because we're that stupid. <laughs> Maybe he's watching this wait going. A minute, God, wait bitch. a minute. Wait a minute. Let's answer the question. Can you have make a mistake that you don't regret? I don't know. Mine, that's say, my... Yeah, you can watch. I'll give you one. I'll give you one right now. Watch. I cheated on a girl and we broke up. It was a mistake, but I don't regret it because I didn't like her anyway. Okay, sure. I get what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> but you wouldn't say that's your biggest mistake. I'm not no. saying that actually happened. I'm just saying that's the scenario. Yeah. Which you, you could. Yeah. Have, uh, both. I'm not uh, saying that, that if you qualify as your biggest mistake, it would probably be something you regret as well. I don't honestly. Fuck, man. Most That's why this is hard because it's it's fucking hard. It's like this is going to sound oddly written. This is going to sound really, really fucking shitty. But here it goes. Because hold on, to your fucking seats, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't want to sound racist, um, but <laughs> yeah, I don't mean to be a dick, but My prepare yourselves because here it comes. My biggest mistake is being racist. No, <laughs> no, I uh... <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, I was going to say, I don't really fucking have anything to regret, man. I had to have a pretty good life. So I don't really think I made any mistakes. I think things kind of worked out for me. I think I'll give you one. I'll give you the perfect one. Biggest mistake was not getting a second opinion about my blood pressure and taking a blood pressure medication earlier. Because that probably is the only thing that I don't, uh, I'm not fortunate about in my life right now is my health could be better. Yeah. Everything else, I'm pretty happy with how my life has turned out to date. So I would say my health could be better. So I made the mistake of not listening. Well, it wasn't just not listening to the doctor, but not getting a second opinion that could have probably helped me out. Yeah. There, that's mine. Mike, what was yours? Oh, I mean, yeah, I don't know. 
What's that, Mike? I can't think of one, honestly. You guys can't think of one fucking mistake. I think I, I think I, I think one mistake that I one of the biggest mistakes I made was being stubborn and not changing the way that I trained when I started having issues earlier on and, and being stubborn and, and not like listening to my body. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think that, like I would say that, that too. If it was that, that, ended like my that ended my career a lot sooner than it should have. I feel like if I would have changed my ways of training to a more like push pull convention like style training that my, my my career would have lasted longer because my joints would have been a little fucking salvaged i think the easiest way to figure this question out is is you figure out what the worst thing in your life is right now and then you work backwards and that's, find that's and, literally what my answer is yeah and find out where you fucked it what no it's it's good but yeah i know what he means yeah, yeah you find what out else what is it. what is like the main thing going wrong in your life right now and where did it is his genesis like well, guys, no, like, well, no, well normally Okay. Watch for you. It's like here we go. Therapy. Can't wait. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I, knew, I knew this was gonna land on me. Like, like for a guy, it would be like being I, single, I'm, not having kids. Yeah, I'm single, no kids. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? So you work back and you go, okay. Well, I'm obviously sexy as fuck. So that's fucking the mistake I made was holy shit. Works. I should have been more patient and more understanding because I I'm I'm physically there, I'm just not mentally there. So you work back to there and figure out where that <laughs> point was where you went wrong mentally. Yeah. What? There's yeah, just say just nodding. <laughs> so wait, hold on. Go ahead. Figure this one out. Go ahead. If that's if that's your fucking method, go ahead. Work work backwards, fucking Houdini. Well, somewhere along the way in your in your adult life, you decided Ad, adult, adult adult yes, adult, yes. Ad, adult. Say <laughs> say A D D. Adult. What are you talking say about? A, I say A D D. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> adult. This is what your problem is right here. This is adult. your biggest mistake. Adult. Adult. Okay. Not adult. adult. Okay. Just say it like you're from Jersey. You're yeah. putting two D's in there. <laughs> okay. Adult. Somewhere in your adult life, there you, go. you decided I... that you were going to be selfish and not be understanding of other people's problems. <laughs> and that was your biggest mistake. And then you've run through a whole bunch of women and not figured out who the right one is. Wait, how did you just say run through a bunch of women? I think I wasn't going to stop you in your tracks. Don't <laughs> <laughs> whore me out on your fucking dirty podcast. I'm just telling on you. Same podcast you talk about chindos and fucking double deckers, okay? I don't need to be fucking involved in this shit. Double decker. What the fuck's a double decker? So, guy's biggest mistake <laughs> was tra training. Ian, Ian, what did you say yours was? We're way too long on this question. Yeah, move on. No, answer the question, Ian. I won't say mine on the podcast. I'll say it to you guys, but you'd have to cut it. So I'll say it. No, text it right now then. Is it something okay? No, he won't cut it. Did you get paid? No, text it. <laughs> no. It's legal. There's legal, legal ramifications. <laughs> Would you rather have scalding water poured down your pee hole or have to eat an entire <laughs> or have to eat an entire fresh out of the oven molten cheese pizza? Molten cheese what? pizza. Yeah, well, I'd rather obviously. I'd rather eat the fucking yeah. What kind of fucking options are those? What that's what kind perfect. of that's is he he's gonna turn out he's gonna be he, that kid's gonna turn out to be a serial killer. Is that <laughs> is that two hundred? You don't oh, think I, of that? I saw this. Is that two hundred and twenty nine thousand prize money for Masters Olympia for all Masters classes or just the open? Oh, somebody yeah. somebody sent me this because we talked about it, doing it. Was it me and you guys or me and the other podcast? We talked about it wasn't oh, any money. So we oh, talked. Yeah, about, yeah, yeah. So we talked about you know, like legends are going to come out of retirement for no money. So then the next day they announced there was money. But two hundred twenty nine thousand over all those classes isn't necessarily. Why didn't they just get another thousand and say two hundred thirty thousand? You know. Yeah. Yeah. So weird. But think about it. How much prize money could that be for the open body? How many business? classes? How many classes? I'm not sure. What I don't want to. I don't want to speculate. Well, we can't figure out the math then and say. But the two. Not. But the two twenty nine was for the whole show. It wasn't just for body. I would suspect it's for the whole show. Yeah. Um. How do you feel about? Oh no, we already answered that. Nope. 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 Uh, what's something you're totally willing to share on the podcast but refuse to share with your wife or girlfriend? Nothing. What? My wife's going <laughs> to fucking figure it out. <laughs> yeah, or watch the fucking podcast, you <laughs> douche knuckle. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, oh, you know, I here. Three months ago, and he robbed the bank, but they never found out who it was. She doesn't yeah. know. I never told her. Uh, would you rather have no? 
Jeez. These questions are getting rough. Would you rather be able to master all instruments or all sports? Oh, sports. I think instruments at this point in my life. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you laughing at? I honestly might take instruments too. Oh, man. I'd love to be able to play a fucking guitar and a fucking drums and shit. Hey, guy, you be the about? single one. You should take the instruments. You know how much pussy you get if you're fucking slamming all the, the fucking guitar and drums? Just play like cellist. Yeah. Why did the fucking violin, why was the violin the first instrument that came to your mind? <laughs> Don't you think it's something cool like the drums or something? You're like, who the fuck thinks of the violin first? The harp. Uh, the p- piano. Like, what the fuck? Flute. Yeah, playing the piano would be fucking sick. The skin skin flute. Skin flute. (laughs) (laughs) Mike, Uh, who on the podcast would you like to put through a wicked training session the most? uh, mm. Guys. guys. No, probably you. Probably Ian. Me? Oh, Ian. Ian. Yeah. Why? Because one, one, because I could, I think Mike knows I, I can show Fuad. No, I think Fuad could like, I could show you some stuff that like maybe would be like light bulb moments. Mm-hmm. And Ian, just because I knew I could fucking bury him and he wouldn't quit. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, what, like you know, I'd be like driving a sports car, like just fucking <clears throat> give her. You know, I trained for like twenty years, right? Like, I probably no, no, but I'm saying like now that you're in like kind of the position I'm in, where it's like stuff's kind of. Oh, yeah, like I mean, that, yeah, 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 yeah. Like show you yeah. like kind of some stuff that would be like, oh fuck, like, yeah, this feels a lot better that way. This feels different. Yeah, just that kind of that might be really beneficial for me, actually. Yeah, in the same boat. <laughs> we just still got two good um, hips, though. So you're all right. Ian James, what about James? You don't yeah. really you don't really care about strength that much, do you? No, it's not that I don't care. I think, like I said, that would be an enticing thing to train Ian just because, like, it's the same when I train, like, Antoine or something. It's like, it's like, I take the fucking gloves off and let's yeah. get going here, right? On top okay. of the fact you're trying to help that person or maybe see what you can do to adjust some stuff for them. But it's like, you know, you don't have to, like, pull the reins. Like, it's like, just go. Well, you, guys, <laughs> I mean, you guys should fucking do it. You guys are only three, hours, three or four hours apart. I'm actually going to be down there at the beginning second week of March. Do it. What? I'm there every day. For what? Again. Um, me and Julie and Melissa are just going down to train here and do some shit down there. Yeah. Okay. Um, first vehicle. Mike, what was your first vehicle? Uh, Pontiac Grand Dam. What? Pontiac Grand Dam was his first vehicle. What was your first vehicle? <laughs> can we google it <laughs> what was yours for? only only if we can google it so we can all laugh what was your first car we'll google it i'll tell you as you google i can see Fuad in one of those like wait how really long guess try to guess what my first car was i, I can see Fuad in one of those really square like 80s mercedes that like old arab guys drive <laughs> <laughs> but, like your it was like your grandfather's and then he died so you had it you know this is my first. Color. This is my first. Yeah, color. like that kind of shit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they come with a child in the back seat. This is my first. Car. Trunk. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's fucking great. Okay, yeah. guy. Guy. Mine's you worse. Drove, you drove a Toyota Corolla. No. Uh, you drove a... A, Cam- a Camry. A Honda Accord. I know it's something think, like that. So, you gotta think, think something more Jersey than that. You gotta be like. Ah, uh, Mike, I'm like gonna go be... there. <laughs> nah, go Jersey on this. Come on, give me the name. 1984 Chrysler. I was gonna say a Buick, but Fifth Ave. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. White with yes, the white one, the white one, the white one. Go back. The white with red <laughs> leather interior. You fucking drove this. Yes. Classy. Jesus. Wait, Classy. find the interior because it was red leather interior. There, no, it's to the left. It's right there to the left. Top bar left. Oh. Chris Aceto's calling me. This is a class act. Get him on the yep, phone. There it is. How great is that? <laughs> Get him on the phone. Ask him if Andrew's a cheat. Hold on. Hey. Put him on speaker. Put him hey, on speaker. I'm on, uh, I'm on the podcast. Put him on, put him on speaker. 
You they want me to put you on speaker. I want Broche. You want me to put you on speaker? Hold on. <laughs> You're on speaker. What? Chris. It's bro, is that on? Chris, it's Fuad. Oh, I'm on the podcast. Are you? <laughs> hey, is Andrew in shape? Might be it, it might be a breach of my contract with RX, but <laughs> is uh but is, I'll, but I'll is, sue everyone. I'll I'll sue everyone. I'll give a cease and desist <laughs> letter. <laughs> but, listen, if the lighting is terrible for this show, then <laughs> you know, everyone looks like fat pigs when they're all shredded, probably. You know, I don't know what we're gonna have to sue someone. Is Andrew is and, is Andrew in shape? Andrew's in top nut shape. How much better is he than the Olympia? Completely one thousand percent. Um he, he's gonna over deliver. Really? All right. That's hilarious. Just having a fucking phone call. <laughs> yeah, we're just talking. Sorry, everybody. If you <laughs> um... sometimes a whole talk and you have to listen and you're like, oh, that made no sense, but I got it. No, but it's funny because he's like he's, he's, got a over, he's scattered. You call, you call him and you're like, We're on a podcast, and he's got like zero sense of urgency. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, so uh what's going on? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? Who had yeah. <laughs> Okay, we'll do a couple more and then we'll go, guys, just to finish off with something good. Have anybody He's has any cord. of the guys ever faked an orgasm just because it's been enough? Yes. No. You faked an orgasm? Yeah. What? No, you but, like were you wearing a condom? Like, how'd you pull that off? It was I was fucking it was sweat. It's fuck out there. It's just long, long a lot of come on. Yeah. I mean, I you obviously haven't played. I can't really want to talk. Oh, sometimes about enough is, is just like sometimes you just really... have like sometimes there's like a couple too many rounds in a day, and you're just like I'm just like I I got like a Look minute. At this left. fucking guy's a porn star now. Jesus he's Christ! Guy, he's like, a, <laughs> like I, I fucked for so long, I've had to fail. Uh, yeah, you, so much... you know you have, so shut up. <laughs> it's like that, it's like that scene in Step Brothers. Have you ever done so much fucking? The guys are guys a full caber jet pen down, so he's yeah. just got <laughs> they got not loaded. again. I load uh, that bitch up. See Ian guys. No, I think guys back. back. Guys Maybe back. twice. He's back. What? I said guys back. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've done it all. <laughs> you got it all here. Yeah. <laughs> you live I, life once. I fucked so much I had to stop. I couldn't fuck anymore. <laughs> the fake orgasms, just too much pussy, swimming in the pussy, drowning in it. <laughs> see? You see? I want everybody to pussy I, I want, you had to fucking tap out. I want everybody to pay attention to, to what's happening right now. What happened? Because what's happening right now are, are, are things that didn't happen. See what see what these guys are saying? What do you mean? Mike, pay attention. See what Ian just said and for I did, none of that came out of my mouth. Well, yeah, but it's the, <laughs> none of that came out of my mouth. It's the implication, though. It's the implication. No, it's not. <laughs> it could have happened. It could have been with in the beginning. You of said a your girl exact time. your exact words were, "No, oh, sometimes you're just fucking all day long and you just had enough." Like I said, that's... sometimes in the beginning of a relationship. No, you're fucking a lot. Putting caveats. <laughs> <laughs> Just swimming in the pussy. You can't tell me I'm the only one on here that that's that, that's not that. I've never faked an orgasm. Mike. No. Shut up. No way. <laughs> I don't know why I would. Yeah. I've pretended I just, I, I've, 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 I've done that. I've done the opposite. What? I've pretended I didn't have an orgasm when I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm For sure I've done that. <laughs> no, we're good. We're good. Keep 100%. Going. Like, are you done? No, no, no. And you just keep no. going. Three seconds in, busted wait, so you your like, you full, wait, you full blown blew your load? And then just keep going because I'm like, I, oh, yeah, I've done I'm that like, sure. I'm like, she's going to be really mad if I tell her I finished. So I'm just, yeah, <laughs> just I've done this for sure. For sure, I've done that. That's some mental, that's me, that's a lot of mental struggle. To so, I go, so I go until the, second, go to the, until the <laughs> second one goes. And I'm like, okay, I'm done now. The second one. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah. I mean, look, we're talking about. Uh, being very young this isn't like recent so, okay so you just said you blow two loads in, in one round ian said that's impressive and nobody fucking barks at you 
Because it's more believable than I fucked so much. I just couldn't blow my head. <laughs> I didn't say I fucked so much. Mike, I didn't say that. Mike, back me up. I didn't say that. Don't, don't try, man. Don't Mike, try. Mike, back me up. I didn't say that. <laughs> I never said that. Guy, I love it when you're on here, man. You're so fun. I hate everybody. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to do. You know what? Let's wrap it there. Oh, one more. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. Your text is phenomenal. What's the biggest lie you've ever told without getting caught? Why are these people all dry snitching? They want us to dry snitch. Yeah, what other? the fuck, bro? I just said I called yeah, the lady today. <laughs> For everyone, what conspiracy theories do you believe in? I believe in the JFK conspiracy, but I don't even know if all that's like them. really a conspiracy anymore. You believe Which in all of them, Mike? Which one? <laughs> I said I said JFK. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. I could get I could get into some JFK for sure. I don't yeah. know about the moon landing. That one kind of fucking is tricky. Why don't you believe the moon landing? I don't believe that for a heartbeat. Never Wait, why? Been. Because, dude, they've never fucking been back. They never fucking uh. We're talking about the six <laughs> talking about the sixties. I think the oh. capabilities were there. Maybe it has been done, but I think maybe that the footage that they used was you not guys, real. Do you guys believe that we could fucking FaceTime each other over the fucking internet? And you guys what? are debating what happened in fucking like 19, what, 60? What does that yeah. have to do with anything? What's that? I'm why saying, have you don't back, think over time, people are going to look back, back and see and think, oh, oh, no, what they did, they couldn't have done that. Yeah, but why haven't we been back in 50 years? 70 maybe years? There's nothing to fucking be back for. What do you mean? No they talk about going back. They talk about going back all the time, and they just can't. Why can't they? You tell me. I don't know. I don't fucking pay attention. It's nonsense. I only live once. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. I don't fucking happen to the I don't. Moon. I don't know either. Probably getting too much. Pussy I die. When, when, when I die, I get dug and I go. To, I go. You know, I go in dirt. I don't you know. know you belt, bro. You know a recent. <laughs> you know a recent conspiracy. I'm. I'm really fucking into. Is the 15 minute city thing. Have you guys seen this? What? So you guys heard of 15 minute cities? Apparently what they want to do now, some of the, some of the governments of the world want to do now is create 15 minute cities, which means you can basically walk anywhere and get anything you need within a 15 minute range. Or well, they build very high? No, no, no. It's like <laughs> they're little villages. Basically they're going to take cities. Oh, so they're just not big. Okay. No, no, no. They're going to take, or if it's a bigger city, they'll separate it into districts. Okay. So uh, you would uh... have your 15 minute city. And it's supposed to be in the name of like climate and the climate crisis and reducing emissions and that's so people don't have to move around as much. Everything's within reach and some of the conspiracy shit around it. Sounds like, like they're trying to make fucking a uh, real life. But listen, but listen, some yep. of the conspiracy shit around it is they're gonna guess eventually... where your guess where your car can go. It can't go outside that quadrant either. That's the conspiracy theory. Is eventually they're gonna be like that's why need... they want everyone on electric cars. You need a pass to you leave. Go. You need a pass to leave the 15 minute city. They can tell you when you can leave, the times you can leave, or you need a permit to leave. And all these things are like I'm telling you, look, go on YouTube and type in 15 minute city explained, and it'll fucking blow your fucking mind. You'll be like, but how do you know that's even true? Because it's actually happening already. I think there's a city in where? Alberta. I think there's a city in Alberta that's a 15 minute city. One second, uh, Alberta, fifteen minute city. I think it's called. So that's, Ottawa. A, U, so that's a that's a Canada. That's a U problem. Uh, no, no, no. But it's every it's across the world. I think there's a there's a there's a place in China that's doing it too. What's up? That's a China problem. Yeah, we're talking, we're, talking about. We live in China, city. also AKA Canada. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. Uh, share. What is Alberta's fifteen minute city? Uh, so. The 15-minute city concept is about giving residents access to most of their daily needs within 15 minutes of their home through walking, biking, or public transit. So this is how they're selling it to you. It's a uh... two days ago. This this whole thing happened. Well, this thing was posted two days ago, but it's been a while. Uh, where are the 15-minute cities located? Here's a bunch here: Melbourne, Melbourne, Milan, Paris, Portland, Buenos Aires, Barcelona. What are the policies? I want to see these fucking policies. Uh... <sighs> The 15-minute city is an urban planning concept in which most daily necessities and services such as work, shopping, education, healthcare, and leisure can be easily reached by a 15-minute walk or bike ride from any point in the city. So you think they're, they're trying to get people in and then then then, then lock them in? Yes. And close the doors. Uh, That's like fucking Walking Dead shit. 15-minute conspiracy theories. Cities are rule. What's Get the fuck out of here. What is this advertising? Shit. City, cities are ruled by the imperative 
to save time, states, Paris space, urbanist car, uh, yeah, city drivers, blah, 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 blah. Instead of being perfected for cars, cities should be designed so that within so that within the distance of 15 minute walk or bike ride, people should be able to access work, housing, food, education, culture through leisure. Who wouldn't want to live within an easy walking distance of shops, cafes, schools, theaters, swimming pools? Me. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> bon bonkers, yes, but surprisingly popular. Last year, a conspiracy theory website went viral after claiming that the power mad politicians in Oxfordshire, that's it, Oxford, Oxfordshire, England, is already a 15 minute city, had voted to lock residents into one of the six zones to save so, the planet from global they're hurting warming. you, they're confining, hurting people. Con confining residents to their own neighborhoods. This was this was communism stated the climate change denying website. Uh, okay, and it goes on. So this is kind of like the the conspiracy that's happening is they're saying this is how they're starting, and eventually they want to get you there. Then there's going to be different districts have different things, and it sounds like what's that fucking movie with the girl and yeah, that's it. It sounds like the Hunger Games. Hunger Games, that's it. <laughs> They're saying some districts are going to have are obviously going to be more, more more affluent and have more opportunities, and others are not. And then they're saying yeah, my district would beat the that's fucking shit out of your district any day. Yeah, but think no, but think <laughs> about listen. I know you're joking, but think about this for a second. Let's say, for example, it does turn into something where you need a permit to go somewhere. I was just talking to my wife about this. Sometimes I'll get on my bike and I'll fucking yeah. ride and I'll ride like two hours away just for the fuck of it, just just to go for a ride. Yeah. So now they're yeah. going to be like, you can't leave. Sorry. Even if you even if you want to, you won't be able to because it's going to be an electric vehicle. A car won't let you. you know what I mean? It's hurting you into hurting you into areas to confine you to where you live. It's funny you did that, guy, because I said to Summer, I said I don't think I'm like I'm sure. Just like COVID, there will be states that just don't go with it, like Florida, Texas. Like there'll be states where they're like, fuck you, ain't doing that shit. Yeah, and and that's where people are going to go want to go live. So it's fucking crazy. That um, yeah. that conspiracy actually scares me, man. Because I can, maybe I'm nuts, but I'm like I can actually see that happening. They're slowly conditioning you for it, though. Because think about COVID, yeah, you can only go certain time, places. But, well, because yeah. I also watched a thing about uh, lockdowns and them using climate crisis reasonings for lockdowns. Yeah. So, like you know how we're seeing all these chemical spills recently, and they're mm -hmm. like they all happen to be around farmland and things like that. And that's the other thing about the 15 minute cities are trying to drive people from rural areas and agricultural areas into the 15 minute city. So they're like, why are all these chemical spills happening? So all condensed within this one month and they're all around farmland and agricultural areas. And what they're, the other thing that are conspiracy that's out there is like, well, if they make the air pollution bad enough, they can make you stay in your house. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of bad shit happening. I'm like, look, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I've been down a fucking really shitty rabbit hole, but I'm like, a lot of this stuff is fucking nuts. I'm seeing, and I'm like, I, I gotta stop watching fucking. We're all gonna see some pretty wacky shit in our lifetime, that's for sure. Are you nervous yep. to go to Columbus? Oh, because of the East Palestine thing or Palestine? Yeah. No, I think it's okay. I think. Are you gonna drink? Though? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna be a little. I'm not drinking the water. Brush my teeth with it. Don't worry about anything, man. <laughs> Mike, have you met me? You've taken, you've taken, they want you, you've taken copious amounts of... of steroids. I think you'd be fine with a little bit of <laughs> vinyl chloride or whatever. The fuck no, who the fuck are you to say I took a lot of copious amounts? Look at you. I can tell you did. That's a There's already so much shit in our water. Shit, so what? What do they say? Like fucking shit in there to turn the frogs gay or whatever it is, you know? <laughs> is that a conspiracy you believe in? Yeah, fucking gay frogs everywhere, man. Turn the fucking what? frogs gay, bro. <laughs> what? Uh, well, I'll, get, I'll tell you. I'll tell you a conspiracy that I. I the thought, I'll, gay? I'll tell you a conspiracy I thought might be real. Uh, that they put soy in everything to actually increase men's estrogen levels. What? Yeah. So they're That's easier. So they're easier to control. Yeah. Docile. Yeah. That's why if you look in like any fucking product, it's got soy in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not me. No, I'm no soy boy, bro. <laughs> no so boy bro no so boy bro all right uh guy i'll see you in a couple days i guess so why these yeah these two knuckleheads are fucking staying home yeah, yeah they're yeah. fucking pussied out you know watch yeah. it from the comfort of my living room well you can see me on tv yeah buy yeah, the pay by the pay-per-view use code fuad 10 I yeah use that. code guy 15 <laughs> hey wait can you add yeah, when, mike mike 20 I have a question for after the recording. 525. Okay, we're going to go. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Uh -huh.